Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Hey. Well, Howdy. Hey. Uh, hey. Let me real quick. Where the heck? I didn't change my background. Ugh. God, I'm just such a person. Okay, Get here we go. Together. Hey, we got it. We're good to go. Okay. Uh, welcome to the void. Uh, big old dark screen. We don't have any uh, reaction imagery up yet because there's a couple of things we have to do since the last session uh, ended the way it did. So there's uh, going to be a little bit of story development we're going to do first. And then we're going to uh, go in to meet our our newest party uh, who may be the saviors of Fandolin, the saviors, of the Sword Coast. Uh, who knows? We'll see exactly what your uh, what your story is. Is that Gorgonzola POV chat? That's not that's, nice. That's, that's fucked. That's, that's fucked. <laughs> that's so, come on, chat. What the fuck? God, we just started. You're gonna do that, man. Jesus. All right. I hope he's at peace. Well, we're. I hope it's like sleeping. I know, right? I think he died screaming. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny. Stop laughing. That's not funny. Oh, it just dies right there. Oh, that's fucked. I'm sorry. God, I'm an awful human being. Uh, okay. So, uh, before we get started, how about we do a little, uh, little story development of what happened since the last session? Does that sound good with you all? Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. All right. Whoa. Little little ominous dark wind for you. And then I think I'm going to play this one. Little little ominous music for y'all. As we return the Kragma hideout for a little. A little, a little scene for y'all. Uh, let me know if everyone can see what's happening. Smiley face. Mm, now I can, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll get you guys over there. Oh, oh my boy. <laughs> oh. Yeah. We have fun. <laughs> we have fun here. Okay. Make sure we're good. Yeah, now we're good. And now I can reveal our reaction imagery of everything that has happened up to this point. Now we're on the screen. There we go. Uh, the original party, not to worry. Uh, it's been, uh, oh, our, our next session begins uh, at the next 10 days. So 10 days after everything has happened. And I am happy to report that both Brian and Tommy are still alive. They're living, they're kicking it. They're currently over in Clark's area, chained up to the wall. Uh, each of you currently are suffering three levels of exhaustion as you're barely being fed, you're barely getting any sleep, and you're barely getting some 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 water, but it's enough to keep you alive. Uh, Sildar is also with you, uh, and each of you are at one hit point, restrained and chained to the wall. Over in the center, uh, you, who you guys have gotten to know pretty well, uh, is Clark, who is getting really mighty egotistical because he managed to capture himself and even kill a couple of adventurers that thought that could stop Clark and everything that he was doing along with his lovely little pet wolf, Ripper. Uh, the past uh, 10 days have been not the best, I would say, for you all. Uh, Clark has kept you guys chained up, uh, has given you guys uh, just en enough food to, to, to survive, uh, if you would. And I do kind of want to go around a little bit, just so I'm not power RPing anyone here. Um, we'll start with Brian. Brian, what, what has Brian been doing these past 10 days after everything went wrong uh, within the Kragma hideout? <laughs> Uh, I think as soon as he could, like, start to convince Clark that he'd be useful, he was, uh, anytime, like, someone got, like, a minor wound, he'd try and heal it, but twice a day, prioritize Clark, <laughs> um, and then just keep, like, praising him anytime, like, Clark would speak about, like, any plans or, like, boast about killing his friends, he'd be like, yeah, no, you did do that, you're great, 
You're great, mate. You you you, you did a fantastic <laughs> job. And <laughs> you be <suck>. like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and like, uh, he would constantly just be be like trying to win him over. Okay. So, um, during the ten day, I will let you all know that you uh, none of you have been able to complete a long rest. You've been getting little rests here and there, so your magic's been kind of intermittent. You managed to regain some of your healing magics, and, and you even know this. Like, unless you get a full night's rest, there is no way you're actually going to be able to cast any sort of spells. Um, so I almost feel like Brian has to, like, you know, show a little bit of his power, because right now you're getting your spells back at a very slow rate from the mm -hmm. lack of sleep and food and, and water that you've been giving over there. And Clark would, would absolutely look over to you and just be like, <laughs> Beauty adventurer, heal me, heal my boo-boo. As he points over to his leg and the little little cut over there. You are black, you are black crab now and you will heal, Claude. Uh, I'm your crab, sir, I am your crab. The only problem is, mate, that... Uh, the, I've not really slept, so I, I can't really do it again. So, sir, if just a little bit more sleep, Mr. Clark, sir, no. It, no I, sleep. I, no sleep till you heal, Clark. Uh, I, I've not got much left in me. It's not as potent, Mr. Mr. Clark. You, you're so strong, and to heal your your flesh in particular, is it takes some powerful magic because yeah, my magic's weak, like the lesser goblins around here. So Clark strong. shows his backhand to you as if he's about to hit you. Oh, please, Mr. Clark. Uh, I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> you cry a lot. And then he won't hit you and he'll go back over here. Uh, Thank you. Tommy. Yeah. What have, what have you been up to the past 10 days? Um. Well, I imagine he's chained up. I also imagine Tommy is also muzzled. Because at some point he did try to bite a goblin or Clark <laughs> or even like the wolf, but yeah. there is uh, he has been silent. He he hasn't really talked much at all. Mm -hmm. But there is a a, a, a simmering darkness a <laughs> void that lurks behind his eyes where there used to be purity where there used to be uh, enamored like just wonder at the world. There's nothing. And this whole time, he's been slowly, he's been like, he's been like flexing against the chains. Not enough to like, um, make any noise, but enough that this entire time he's slowly been building like muscle mass, like leaning himself <laughs> out, right? Holy shit. Holy fuck. Uh, <laughs> I think, uh, I think after a couple of days of doing this, Sildar would take note of you kind of like flexing a little bit and he kind of will nod a little bit he'll he'll whisper over to you um because i'm sure he, he you know he knows your name by now especially being here for 10 days mm -hmm. he'll be like he'll be like you, you want to you want to, to flex it up like this yes make sure you pull the chains like so but not enough to rattle any make any noise Tommy turns his muzzled face towards him and dips his head slightly in a single nod <laughs> and follows his lead. And Sildar will actually be doing the same. Sildar understands that this is only a temporary setback um, and that if they have, if, if anyone here has any choice, choice uh, chance of survival, they can't give up hope. They had, they, and you kind of like motivated Sildar a little bit to do that. He wasn't really doing much before as an old man, but watching you kind of like work the chain, try and keep going. He's been kind of joining in a little bit, watching you over there. Um, a couple of times, maybe a goblin would have come over and been like, what you doing? And then Sildar would just kind of like spit at the goblin to like accru accrue the wrath. Because if there's one thing Sildar knows about these goblins is that they're very, they get distracted very easy, but they're very one mindset. So if they're like, hey, what's he doing? And then someone else pisses them off. Um, he absolutely would just do that just to distract them away from Tommy for a little bit. And, uh, and yeah, and ever since then, um, the goblins have been kind of like staying away from this area, even with the muzzle. This goblin kind of walks over to Clark and is like, uh, oh, uh, uh, King Clark, can I, can me have 
uh, speaking in goblin, you know, can I, can, can, can I please get healed from crab? And he'll yell in goblin. No, crab belongs to me. And then he'll backhand the goblin. The goblin's like, oh, and kind of like scurries over a little great bit. Work, Clark, great work, Clark. Great work, Clark. Um, the last event that has happened over here, um, it was the gathering of the bodies. Clark ordered that, uh, all of the deceased goblins that had been killed in the cave, uh, from the 10 day before be gathered up for a certain, uh, um, for certain reasons. And he'll all, he'll state at one point of time, even mentioning it in common, maybe just to show off to the prisoners and say, These will be good for trade. You're uncertain what he meant by that. Um, but the last thing you witnessed as far as a violent act went, um, is, let me see if I can find it. Oh, where did that, where'd that go? Hmm. Did I accidentally delete that? Oh, anyways. Uh, part of the, the pot, the body piles that are over here, um, you will actually, uh, see, uh, you would have witnessed the public execution of Yemek, who was, uh, Clark discovered was trying some shit. Oh yeah, thank you. There it is. Yeah, there he is. There's the boy just hiding underneath all the goblins. Um, Yemek uh, went ahead and was executed in front of all of the goblins to show uh, as, of a show of force, as Clark will will state. Clark knows all. Clark is powerful. You turn on Clark, making the little like hand motion across the neck, uh, letting all the goblins know that Clark is not fucking around. Also, and Clark keeps making these commands all in common. He could do it in he could do it in Goblin, um, but you do kind of sense the presence that he's trying to like show off his power, try and instill fear upon upon his prisoners. He would have ordered several goblins out to the um, to the trade route um, that that uh, intersects with Fandolin, uh, making sure the Triabor uh, uh, trail. And just making sure that, you know, they're getting as much stuff as they can. And they have been. They've been looting a lot of uh, items and, and trade and, and everything like that. And they've been storing everything over here in these boxes. Anything they manage to swipe and steal, anything that they take, um, they're looting. They're doing everything they can. Today at this 10 day, though, um, Clark has seems to be a little more antsier than normal. Um, and he's just kind of like pacing a little bit he hasn't been talking to ev anyone too much and he's just been kind of pacing back and forth back and forth for for a couple of hours it isn't until a goblin will kind of come up here to the stairs and just say in goblin he's here he's here the guest of honor is here and then clark will nod and just bring him in and uh as he says that the goblin kind of like scampers off over down to the bottom, apparently expecting someone. You hear the heavy footstep of a large creature walking up the stairs. Um, it isn't until you finally notice looking down these stairs uh, as the creature uh, ascends uh, behind uh, another individual as a drow makes his presence known with the size of a large ogre kind of walking down in here, um, looking at everything. The drow is like looking around a bit, kind of keeping his eye. Um, he kind of like will look over a little bit to the prisoners that are over. And as they're kind of walking around a little bit and just kind of looking at the two and then walk over to Clark um, and he'll begin to he'll begin to uh, talk over in uh, over in the common tug. And he'll just be like, ah, Clark, I see that your crusades have been treating you well. Very good. Most impressive. Clark will state over in common to the drow and say, Thank you, my black spider. Soon Clark will be king of the Kragma. Patience, my friend. Patience. You have definitely shown your worth to me a lot more than the King of Kragmar has. Soon it'll be time for the crown to adorn upon your head. And as he's pacing, you'll see Clark gets this big smile. Uh, a couple of the goblins are like sniffing around the ogre a little bit. The ogre will kind of slam his back arm as the goblin like will hit against the wall. And as this is all happening, uh, the, the, the one that uh, was identified as Black Spider uh, doesn't seem to 
care too much as he's looking. Um, he kind of like looks over to Brian uh, for a brief moment and then turns his attention over to Tommy. Uh, my dear Clog, who are, th are these individuals? Those are Clog's prisoners. Clog bested them in battle. Hmm. And they'll kind of like slowly approach, specifically approaching Brian. Drow will look down over to Brian. Uh, hey, not Brian, sorry, uh, Tommy. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, he goes over to Tommy and he's looking down at Tommy. And he just kind of has this, this, this like angered expression upon his face. And he's very silent. Tommy, how are you responding? <laughs> Tommy tilts his head back and he goes, <laughs> Why is this boy muzzled? <laughs> and Clark will, will just look over and just be said, He bites. <laughs> has a bit of life in him, huh? Oh, very well. I'll be happy to take him off your hands for you if he's been a bit of a nuisance. No. Oh. Belongs to Clog. You would dare defy me, Clog? When I make a simple request? You, you, uh, uh, my black spider. It's only because you promised Clog a gift. And you, you didn't, you didn't give Clog a gift. The black spider is quiet, uh, all for a moment. And he will just continue to stare. Besides, Clog uh, knows that you would be interested in uh, 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 a, 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 a witch, a mage. Ha, uh, <laughs> Clog, how very astute to you, you. You learned that the young man was a magister. Clark kind of like nods, a smile kind of goes across his face as if to state like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah I, knew, I knew that, I knew that. <laughs> Very well, Clark. Uh, obviously there's no getting past you. You can keep the boy for now, but please feed him. Make sure that he has water. I may have some use for him. I'm in the market for a, an apprentice. And I think giving him a second chance would be all and but well for him. Clark just kind of nods a little bit and black and the black spider will just continue. I tell you what, Clark, once you're sitting on the throne of Kragmar, as I would have done this for you, perhaps in exchange, an apprentice for me? Yes? Clark nods again. Uh, this is suitable trade. Clog is an excellent negotiator. Yes. Very good. Ah, yes, and I see you've gathered the corpses. Oh, Clog, these will make for excellent subjects. Clark, Clark nods again and says, Clog no. doesn't know what you're going to do with them, but they're sticking up Clog's cave. You're free to take them as you will. <laughs> Clog, I am more than happy to take them off your hands. And, uh, in exchange... Uh, and as he's looking over at the goblins and all the dead bodies over there, and he, he turns back over to Clark. I understand... Oh, sorry, wrong one. I understand that your fortifications have been weakened. Clark will nod again and say, Clog does not need troops. Clog is strong enough. Unless you have something for Clog. In which case, Clog will accept your generosity. The black spider smiles and says, Why, that's why I'm here. Not only to collect the refuse, but, but to give you something. And he go, and he'll say, Domingo. As he's talking over to the ogre, and the ogre just kind of just kind of lurches over. Bring Clog the crates. I'm sure that these will be suitable for you, Clog. It will make it will make part for an excellent source of your army. You'll watch as Domingo will return, dragging over several crates, and as he's pulling these crates over. 
you just hear you hearing scratching and clawing and slamming within these giant massive crates and you'll just kind of hear what Prague wants to know what's in the boxes black spider will smile <laughs> like log it is your army so that you will be able to lay claim to the sword coast and become king of the Kragma. king of the sword coast king of Faerun. And Clark just has a wide smile upon his face. This is acceptable. You may you may take the bodies now. So be it then. Come, Domingo. And uh, over the next uh, couple of hours or so, you will watch as Domingo will take the the uh, crates of the clawing and scratching and, and pounding and breaking in. Um, and we'll return uh, as he's kind of like going around. You're uncertain what Domingo's doing. But Domingo will return back with empty crates. Um, and then Domingo will just start to stuff every body that is over here in this corner into the crates. And uh, after that is done, uh, both of them will begin to walk away. And as uh, as they do so, Clark will look up and say, Will Clark see you again? Soon, Clark. When the time is just right. See you soon, King of Kragma. And he'll just walk on through. All right. So now that we've seen what has happened um, through Brian and Tommy's perspective of everything that has happened there so far, let's go ahead and let you know what happened during the, uh, what's been going on during the 10 day before we begin our mm. adventure. Uh, first off, I want to make sure, can everyone see the map? Yeah. Yep. Excellent. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. 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 Because I got a I got a war report for everyone. All right. So, over the ten day after your first group went over to the Kragmaw hideout in an attempt to stop all the goblins that have happened there, uh, Clark has went ahead and made their appearance known specifically over to the Treebore Trail. You see, he's been ordering all of his goblins to continuously rampage across the tree board trail. Any merchants, anyone that looks like they can't defend themselves, the goblins have been sent out uh, in an attempt to stop all caravans, all trade, and return them uh, immediately over to Clark. Um, a new actor is now in field, specifically the Black Spider. Uh, which uh, some merchants who have been able to escape with their lives and may maybe not as much where as they want uh, will continuously hear the sound of the black uh, of this name black spider black spider from the goblins that have been rampaging up and down the tree board trail if that wasn't bad enough uh, news from neverwinter reports these strange uh, robed individuals all with mysterious masks, as they seem to be wondering about. They're definitely of some cult, but uh, not many know of, uh, uh, of what exactly they worship. But they definitely have an interest in dragons. Over the past couple of days, they've left over to Neverwinter, uh, heading off uh, eastward. But, you're un but uh, nothing else is known from them, because they really have been causing trouble in Neverwinter. But something is definitely ominous about them. And while they speak of dragons, uh, news from Fandolin has reported the sighting of a white dragon that has been flying all up and down the Sword Coast. Whether these cultists and the dragon that's been flying up around the Sword Coast is, uh, is related is uncertain. But one thing is for certain. There is currently a lot of activity up and down the high road. And soon, potentially, goblins 
will be the least of your concerns. Now, now we begin truly, now that we've done the recap, uh, let's go ahead and meet our new party in the same familiar tavern that you all had uh, seen before. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm, I'm, uh, one moment. I have to make sure, I'm not observing your character so the, the, the chat can't see currently. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? What's going on? Man. Hi. <laughs> Just looking at the pie. Really. We, yeah, we look great. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> we look a lot better than the last guys. Do we? I don't yeah, know. We yeah, that's like what I'm saying. Totally totally yeah, we usually look like a tobacco party, I think. <laughs> in a piece of fiction, you'd usually have, like, the cool heroes coming at this point, but it's just mm. more of the same. <laughs> <laughs> we are not the cool heroes. <laughs> All right, I have to delete your tokens if, uh, just briefly so I'm able to see everyone's tokens. Uh, I have to make sure I'm observing in my in my player view. Okay. And then making sure observer observer and observer excellent all right i'm gonna start dragging people out one by one uh oh and this 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 lovely gentleman over here okay now now that the party is here ah <sighs> Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll initiative for everyone. Oh, uh -huh. just to see who's gonna be introducing who first. Oh. Okay, there we go. All right, uh, let's go ahead and start uh, with Crown. Uh, Crown, why don't you introduce the new character that you're playing and tell oh, tell us a little bit about them? Uh, sure. You would see uh, an elven man. Uh, adorned and finely made brigandine armor. Uh, he wears very neutral colors, very grays and browns. Uh, he has a half cloak that rests over the, his left shoulder with his hood drawn back. Uh, and he has a uh, sort of long white hair with these very prominent braids that hang from it. Uh, name's Meldrin. I'm a member of the Lord's Alliance. Okay. Uh, next up, we've got Tomato. Tomato, why don't you tell us about uh, the character that you're playing today? I am playing Gideon Zarkowski, the older brother of Gordy <laughs> Zarkowski. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Having returned from a sailing journey along the Swords Coast after hearing word that his brother who is so easily manipulated and taken advantage of has gone on a murderous rampage. He is on the search for him to bring him back home. Oh, oh no. The tragedy begins. Uh, Junie, why don't you introduce your character? Uh, her name is, well, her name is not literally Cookie, but she goes by Cookie. Uh, she is an elderly uh, forest gnome. Not too old. She's like still kind of spry, you mm -hmm. know? Uh, her and her sisters basically own a party empire. Um, Did you say a party empire? A party empire, right. Badass. Yeah, they they run a party empire. Uh, they throw the craziest ragers you'll ever see in your entire fucking life. However, her two sisters, uh, younger than her, recently sort of got involved in a kind of scandal. Uh, and she's like the oldest, and she was about to retire, but she's like, you know, I heard about this like high-profile missing person case, this uh, Syl Sylvester guy or whatever. Uh, and she's like, and she's like, if she can be involved in like rescuing this guy, maybe she'll re uh, restore some reputation to her and her sister's uh, empire. Understood. Uh, and then finally, Joe, why don't you introduce this charming lad? 
Yeah, I'm playing uh, Turgbund. He is uh, he's a dwarf. He's a mountain dwarf. Uh, a mercenary. He's a minor mercenary. Not as in young mercenary. He's, he's, he's literally a miner. He gets hired to go into mines and protect them. Um, and so he goes around to different mines and gets hired to kill off like small rats and whatnot. That might be plaguing the mines, but he's always been a miner's boy. And he's heard about uh, <laughs> he's heard about the uh, there's some old ruins which have been kind of opened up recently. So he's uh, he's looking to go in for his god of greed and see what kind of mines are in this campaign that's conveniently <laughs> named. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so. Uh, the reason why you all have gathered this tavern, uh, this time you're not really going to be meeting with anyone. Uh, you're going to kind of just be doing your own thing. Um, one second. Oh, cool. Did my start bar crash? That's awesome. That's really awesome. Your start bar? No yeah. way. I've had that before. Bro. I have um, to, holy I, I think shit. I have to like restart Explorer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To explore this. yeah. That happens to me with my um, my Windows Explorer little like file explorer sometimes. I've actually been having trouble with mine lately, which is weird. I bet you it's a Windows update then. Yeah, I just yeah, I guess so. All right, restarting my start bar. <laughs> That's so fuck. Will it restart? Okay, so I closed Windows Explorer. Uh, Did you end the process? Uh, I ended the process, and it's not rebooting the process. Oh my god! So I just don't have a a, a start bar. All right. Uh, if you uh, go up at the top of your task manager, you can just type in. Hang on, let me. Uh, if you go to your task manager, run new task. Uh, yeah, run new task, and then just type in Explorer. Watch it. Oh, God! Thank you. So this is a re reoccurring problem, is what I'm being informed. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, god damn. All right, we good, we good though, we good. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, you're not meeting with anyone here because you all, um, because of your various backgrounds and skills from one way or another, whether you've been associated with the Lord's Alliance um, or your reputation had preceded you as the, uh, the individuals to get things done. Uh, you all, in one way or another, have been contacted by the Lord's Alliance, um, who has an interest in seeing the little trade city of Phandalin to be protected. They have received word from Phandalin's town master, Harbin Wester. Uh, this note, by the way, read more like a, like a sort of like ransom demand. Uh, Phandalin is currently struggling with trade, uh, as goblins have been attacking the routes more frequently this past 10 day. According to the letter, uh, the new marshal and supplies had never arrived to Phandalin, and they are currently struggling. Uh, this message is concerning to the Lord's Alliance, suggesting something happened to Sildar Hallwinter, and the supplies meant to arrive. Something is clearly amiss. The Lord's Alliance has requested the following from your group. Escort another set of oxen with mining supplies to Phandalin. Classic. It's Instead of deliver, uh, instead of delivering them to Elmar Barthen of Barthen Provisions, the Alliance has requested you deliver directly to Harbin Wester. You'll be accompanied uh, with the receipt of delivery that the Lord's Alliance wants Harbin to mark with his Town Master seal to ensure that the delivery had actually taken place. Uh, you'll be accompanied uh, with the receipt of delivery. Uh, I already said that. Uh, request pay. Um, so you'll be requesting pay from Harbin directly. Uh, for the agreed amount, which was 10 gold pieces uh, per party member. So it would be 40 gold pieces in trouble or uh, trouble. not sorry, in uh, total. Uh, they want you to find out what happened to the original supplies and deliver news back to Lord's Alliance. Uh, the Alliance is, feels that there's something amiss with the story about these missing supplies, but is willing to acknowledge, especially with the uptick of goblins raiding the, uh, the, the trade routes, that maybe something did happen with these supplies. Uh, what's more concerning, though, is the disappearance of Sildar Hallwinner, who the Lord Alliance believes something nefarious did happen to. Uh, discover Sildar's fate. If alive, uh, present a sealed letter to Sildar, which will be given to one of you. Uh, inside is Sildar's orders, along with the request to compensate the party of a total of 100 gold pieces from his coffers from the Lord's Alliance uh, that, that was given to him uh, to help fulfill his duty in Phandalin. If Sildar is dead, inform the Lord's Alliance, who will ensure that your party's payment of 100 gold pieces 
upon your return to Neverwinter. Okay. Can so, I just say, I love the idea that if we keep dying, you have to keep basically re the <laughs> 10 gold adventure yeah, in yeah. every possible way. <laughs> well, that's, and that, and that's the thing. Like, obviously, you know, viewers and players aside, you guys delivered these these items so the, <laughs> they're state the fact they're stating like oh yeah we never got them it's like okay weird but all right well yeah see what happened to the original supplies first and, and uh but make sure, but we're gonna set up another one uh so that way you guys can go ahead and get paid for it um it is the evening before just as we had started uh is there anything you guys would like to do in the tavern uh before we advance to the next two uh, next couple of days I'm good. All right. Happy to go wherever. We're, we're yeah, just, let's get this on a roll. Let's do yeah. it. Understood. Let's uh, let's make it happen then. Okay. So, just as before, uh, you guys will be spending the next two days. Let's see. Uh, is there a particular time that you would leave? Um. Oh. Mm -hmm. Actually, I lied. There is something I want to do. <laughs> yeah, so what would you like to do? Uh, I'll just Veldrin, take you to the map while you guys are doing that. Sort of realizing uh, it's it's two gnomes and a dwarf, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Veldrin would sort of ask, more so as just like a, a curiosity. Um, what are your thoughts on traveling at night? Mm. I have no preference either way. I ain't going one either way, but I want. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> Can we get a rerun on that? <laughs> sorry, I ain't going one way or the but I want. Yeah, that's what I thought I heard. <laughs> exactly what he said. Oh, you understood him? Sure. I don't speak Dwarven, so... I got no problems traveling at night. It'll be just fine. All right, then. So you guys will be traveling during the evening. Is that is that... Am I understanding that correctly? Yeah. I'll just go try idea. to get them to do a, a lot of things at night, given that he is uh, a drow. <laughs> Understood. Oh, that's He's fair, the perfect yeah. pie for it. The best I mean, it makes I, it makes yeah, like, yeah, genuine like, sense um, to all of us. So yeah, yeah. Anyway, so it's oh, funny. that's right. You got daylight Imagine the sensitivity. Difficulty I have even. sunlight sensitivity. Oh, yeah. Oh, I you do. I forgot oh, no. that was a thing. <laughs> I like to keep my complexion pale. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so this is the after after hours party. I understand now. Oh no. All right then. Well, if that's the case, uh, you guys will spending you'll be spending the next couple of days uh, traveling. I'll set you over to here. Oh, traveling only at night, so your uh, your days will be over. God damn it! <laughs> 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 exact same time. Keep looking away. <laughs> Where was your good side? I can't tell. Guess you're gonna be fucking weird. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> um, along there, uh, the the war report that I'd given you guys you guys before you would have heard uh, you would have heard about uh, from other travelers who are on the high road uh, specifically in the evening about the tree board trail uh, being uh, just completely surrounded by by goblins uh, you would have heard the sightings of a white dragon that's been flying around the the store uh, the um, the coast and also the suspicious sightings of these strange individuals uh, wearing these this repeating mask um, that seemed to be associated uh, with dragons. So there's definitely a lot that's happening currently uh, down the Sword Coast. Uh, you all would have been receiving that information. Uh, before we continue further, though, uh, there are a couple of things I want to do. Uh, within the two days of travel, uh, you all would have consumed uh, two half rations to keep your guys uh, fed on the road. Uh, also, is there anything that you would be storing on the cart in comparison to, uh, what's on your person now that we actually have a party storage system? 
Yes, I sir. Yes, please. Some stuff. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. A club and some common clothes on the. All right, cool. Oh, can we just drag onto that? Yes. How do yeah. we? Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Yeah, just see. make sure that you um make sure that it does move from your. I don't know how players do it. Um, I know it's DMs that just copy pastes. When so, I dragged it, it didn't delete it from my inventory. Yeah, it doesn't so just delete yeah, it. Once it okay. Was in the yeah, storage. so just just make sure whatever you move there, you delete uh, from your character because it does. It just copy pastes on the storage. Uh, but oh. yeah, you guys are free to drag it over whatever you want to do. Fuck, I'm sorry. How do we we just drag the item over? Yeah. To literally, literally drag. To to where? Uh, to oh. the to the inventory. <laughs> to the. So if you have the party storage uh, character sheet open. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I saw that get added earlier in the Discord and I didn't like know what it was. You're good. Okay. You're totally good. Yeah. Storage. Awesome. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, if you guys want to drag over some stuff now, feel free to do so. Uh, just make sure you delete your uh, delete it from your uh, character sheet after you've moved it to the storage. Okay. Excellent. Um, Turg? I fucked up. I started putting it on the other pie. I started putting it in the other group's storage. I fucked up. <laughs> oh, how do you have access to that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't oh, know. Oh, it still says It's gone wrong. I've doubled my rations. I didn't mean to do it. Oh, no. You're good. You're good. We can fix it. It's a big fucking slip up. Dude. We, we can... Oh, man. We could fix it. We could fix it. All right. So how much? How many rations did you have before? Uh, eight. Okay. Because you had ten. So we'll just we'll drop you down to eight. Yeah. Yeah. It had eight in my inventory. I had ten to begin with, but I don't know where the other two are. I used them. Uh, because you guys traveled. Two oh, because we traveled. You're right. You're absolutely yep, right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, would you like to? Would you like me to move it, or do you want to move it? Uh, I, I think I moved it. Okay. Mm, and I then you just it. remove it from here. Perfect. You're no <laughs> I'm longer. Point eight under encumbered. <laughs> You're no longer in comfort. That's awesome. Uh, and then, oh yeah, everyone's fucking good. Let's do this. Okay. We're golden. You're golden, baby. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Smiley face. Okay. Okie dokie. One moment, please. I gotta move some shit around. Oh, and I definitely need to delete that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's begin. I'm going to move some stuff over. All right, so as you turn down the way with the oxen. <laughs> oh, fuck. Go on. Go on now. Go on. Hesitation. <laughs> no reason for that. I'm going to get trapped yeah. on the road again. It's going to happen is exactly it? as it happened last time. wants to stop anywhere so some trees can do, like, fucking stealth check or something? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, loading <laughs> Goblin Ambush Day. That's a weird name for a map. Hey, don't look at the name. <laughs> First of all, it's night, so no obviously way. it's not day. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> God, I hope. But there's no there's no cart along there. Wow. Um, so yeah, you guys are currently traveling uh through the the uh the evening. Uh what the frick? What the frick? Oh, there we go. Perfect. You're traveling through the evening with the oxen. Who's leading the oxen, by the way? Uh I think because Veldron asked them to uh to sort of partake in like night runs he would be the one leading okay just so they could rest in the back okay i want to say that um uh cookie has like a full-on like cucumber mask going right now <laughs> <laughs> just getting ready to go <laughs> no she just really cares about skincare is the thing no i understand yeah mm. is she sitting up front with the cucumber mask up there uh, yeah, but she's, like, leaned back, and obviously she can't see shit because she has two cucumber slices uh, laid in over her beautiful eyes. <laughs> Understood. Are we sort of aware that we've turned the Tribor? Or... Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay. You, would have, you have turned right onto the Tribor as you can, like, turn down the road and continued uh, to gallop upon there. 
And it's, we've been informed that there's like goblin raids along the Tribor. Uh-huh. Okay. I think yeah. Veldrin <laughs> pulling his crossbow out and sort of like letting it sort of rest over his lap um, would look back to the others. It's probably best that we keep our eyes open. Yes, we ought to keep our wits about us. And uh, Gideon is going to be heroically one leg up on the uh, back of the cart, hand, (laughs) hand like on his forehead, peering into the fucking (laughs) woods. It's a decent form. I still got like another 20 minutes on this cucumber mask. Can you give me like a second? Hey, that's fine. We'll let you know when you get anything taxed. What? Exactly what he said. <laughs> right. I'll uh, I'll keep the cards slow then. As you guys are talking, uh, you all hear shifting within the trees. As whatever uh is coming out, uh, has no intention to be s- sneaky or stealthy, and that is because uh these creatures have the inability to do so. Oh. <clears throat> As you will watch, slowly scattering from the trees. As uh, what appears to be some kind of goblins. Oh, no. Until you recognize oh, that face. their faces seem to be falling off of their bodies. And with a low groan, they begin to approach the cart, hungry. For what? Uh, for their next dinner. All right, so we're doing a nighttime encounter, baby. Let's what the fuck is that? Go. Time to roll Uh-oh. initiative. <laughs> Damn good rolls, gang. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Gideon's technically staring this way. Keep uh, it. <laughs> over the back, so, uh... <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four. Oh no! All right. <laughs> oh, that's fucking horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing these uh, goblin zombies come down. Um, they, uh, they're aware of us. Oh, they're approaching. They're approaching the living source. Uh, yeah, I'm going to shoot it. Okay. Uh, he'd sort of like immediately reach a hand out and like tap, uh, cookie at his side as he stands up. We got company and then fire his crossbow. Okay. Ooh, let's, good roll. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we're starting um, we're starting strong. All right. Nine points of damage. The creature is not bloodied yet. What? Good. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> this dude better be like a oh quarter my. of our XP. <laughs> not bloodied at nine? <laughs> better level me up, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going back to the tavern. <laughs> okay. Bye, uh, idiots. <laughs> Veldrin is uh he's going to then immediately move sort of jumping off the cart. Uh, I'm going to use my... Uh, I don't know what an axe sound makes. That, that, <laughs> no one does, so that sounds like a cannon. That's my turn. All right. Gideon. Hunter. Creature of the shadow. And then uh, Gideon is going to... Uh, I can't move my character. Uh, just oh, there he goes. Put stuck on. On, the, on the rock. There did we I, go. Did I no, I can't. I have no control of him. Actually. What the just fuck? Give me a second. Oh, no, nope, there we go. Now okay. I got it. Okay, cool. Uh, I had to like untick like five boxes on the left. Apologies. Yeah, Gideon is going to very confidently stroll his way along the cart, <laughs> jump down between the oxes, <laughs> and attempt to do a jumping attack down onto this zombie. <laughs> there does, he, cool. does, does he make a sound when he says that? <laughs> It makes like a very, a very confident battle cry, uh, to ten. <laughs> uh, that hits. Nice. Right. Uh, wow, that's good damage as well. The creature, yeah. whoops, runs away. <laughs> is now bloody. Oh my god. 
Holy shit. <laughs> Damn, Gideon, they're a Gideon beefy. <laughs> looks really confident in himself right now. Well struck. Of so, course. Granny! Uh, yeah, Cookie's gonna peel one cucumber off one of her eyes and take a look <laughs> around. What the bitch gotta do to get, like, five more minutes of skincare? Jesus fucking Christ! And she's gonna cast less. <laughs> Uh, and like a party popper going off, uh, her three party members are going to be covered in magenta <gasps> glitter. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. god, yes. Uh, 1d4 on attack rolls and saving throws, and that's going to be her turn. Continue to rest, senior citizen. We can handle this from here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I figured. I... <laughs> oh my god, I here. understood that. <laughs> I'm going to leap over and kind of... Land next to uh, the good sweet Gideon. Hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna go in for the swing. Uh, that hits. How do you dispatch Massive. the zombie? Just like a mining a no, just straight on the skull. Just dink. Well struck, my friend. Hey, you too. You got a strong arm, you? <laughs> yes. Oh, shit, I understood that too. I can't fucking do it. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm learning! Oh my <laughs> shit, I love it! <laughs> I think that's all I could do. Okay. <laughs> and, uh... <sighs> Slams itself down. Oh my god. Uh, that'll hit, and Gideon goes down. <laughs> no! <laughs> what?! <laughs> Alright, we were getting strong. Oh, also, I forgot to do a thing. Uh, one moment, please. I think Gideon was so thrilled by <laughs> fucking Turg coming up and fight with him <laughs> that he was just nodding and giving a thumbs up, like, triumphantly <laughs> to him. Just gets hit on the side of the head so hard. Just, like, nah! slams into the cart and went to the other side of his head and just flops to the ground. The other zombie gets back up. Aw, oh, shit. Okie dokie. Well, we're starting strong, folks. Let's begin. <laughs> oh, Very me. much a the guy from Spy Kids 3 moment for Gideon here. Yeah. Just Both instantly fucking vaporized. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, because we're, we're start, we just started, uh, Gideon. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna get uh, a bruised side to your face as you gain a horrible scar. Oh my god, that beautiful <laughs> face! Oh, oh. Holy fuck! <laughs> that is the guy moment. Oh no! Okay, we begin again. Top of the round. Hey, give me a you got. And then you hear from this side now. Something rattling. Oh, shit. Huh? And then you hear the sound of what exactly is this rattling sound. It just kind of feels like two objects are hitting together multiple times. It isn't until you watch as... Oh, sorry, one second. Oh, oh. For some reason, this token didn't save. Cool. Uh, yes, you will watch. Making sure we're good here, making sure we're good here. Excellent. Uh, you will see as these two tiny skeletons will begin to slowly come out. Wow, little guys. And they seem to be in the shape of goblins. Okay. Returning back, uh, you're gonna watch as this one slams down, uh, I believe hitting. God, I'm rolling really good. Uh, three points of damage dealt. Aye. Over to Turg. All right, Veldrin. Oh my God. Yeah, uh, seeing the skeletons pop out, he's immediately moving. Uh, I'm gonna take a, uh, I'm gonna take a shot at this one here, mm -hmm. the one that's over, uh, Gideon. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, what a, what a shoot. Uh, that'll hit. 10 points okay. of damage. 
and my sneak attack will proc because it was within five feet of an ally. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is now bloody. Uh, I think moving up the rest of the way in I think because of how dire the situation is, um, and I did take the attack action, am I able to throw a dagger? Uh, if it is your uh, bonus, yes, yeah, it'd be my bonus. It'd be your action. life. Yes, you can. Okay, so he's he's within twenty five feet, so it'll be a disadvantage. Okay. Uh, that hits. All right. Yeah, firing the bolt, he'd run, and then as he's running, hurl a knife uh, to sort of, like, draw its attention. Mm -hmm. I'll make a wisdom save. Uh, The knife sticks through him, um, but his attention does not turn. Mm. All right, so next up is this this little guy, this little skeleton. Who's just going to <laughs> and then shoot a bow straight at Turg? <laughs> oh my God! Turg's down. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. no, no fucking way! How am I there rolling fifteen over? Oh, God no. damn! <laughs> I wonder this is like the like the statistic knowledge that it would be a one out of ten chance if you were going to hit me with how high my AC was. And I you did know. It immediately. You got nineteen AC. I got 18, so I was like, okay. Same. The modifiers Same. on most of these guys means it's just a one out of 10, or they got a net 20. We're, we're two fucking 18 AC boys that went down in time one. Uh, Turg, Turg uh, gets incredible. a horrible scar placed upon them. No way. Oh my no God. Way. <laughs> You're going to watch. we are. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, hey, I'm going to have a free Saturday in a couple of minutes, so <laughs> cool. You're going to just watch as this arrow just shoots your shoulder. All right, I'm going to be making a uh, private saving throw for Gideon. So, did you say I have a horrible scar? Uh, yes, you do. But I have Can no I idea where like, we're going to put it. Yes, you can choose. I got an idea. I got an idea. Yeah. If it was an arrow, I wanted to lop, like, the first half of his nose off. So he's just got a horrifying <laughs> oh, no! half nose. Horrible. Holy shit. All right, here we go. Making a death save for Gideon. All right, understood. Cookie, you just watched as your two armored folks uh, went down. Yeah, she like stands bolt upright and the other slice of cucumber uh, falls off her eye into the ground like with a wet little, little wet thump, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, She's gonna go over to Gideon and she's gonna like smack his face around. I'm gonna need you to get it together. You can't let me get my hands dirty here. (laughs) And she's gonna smack him and cast a cure wounds with a flash of Magenta light. All right. And as a life domain cleric, uh, what bonus does that give you? Uh, that'll give me a plus three to the healing. Understood. Uh, let's, let me, uh, let me cast this really quick. Wait, fuck, where? Um, sorry, I just don't see cure wounds on my No, so if, if you mouse over spells, oh, where did it go? Uh, I'm just gonna do it from oh, my I, I see. character you, you, sheet. You didn't have any spell slots, that's why it wasn't popping up. You should be good now, though. Okay. There we go. Okay, and that's uh, does that Thirteen. include a plus three? Yes. Uh, it, okay, is, awesome. Your character sheet isn't isn't calculating that currently, so we're just gonna add plus three to that. Okay. So, so uh, Gideon, your eyes dart up immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I just. Got distracted for a second with how <laughs> excellent the oh. <laughs> uh, what horrible scar does Gideon have? Good luck, idiot. Would you say, Tobedo? Uh, I think that Gideon was hit on the one side of his head pretty hard, and that bonked him into the cart so hard that he probably has a mild dent in his skull and just a big <laughs> oh, fucking gash on the oh, side of his head. Fuck. Understood. Okay. So. All I'm right. Stay down. Sorry. I, I, I was doing a thing. I'll no, you're down. good. You're good. You're good. All right. I'll make another wisdom saving throw. Uh, 
God, these saves. All right. Uh, yeah. So, uh, going for the easy meal, uh, this goblin is going to start, is going to go for a slam on Gideon. Give uh, me your worst. Th I can take it. This will be an advantage. You caught me at my... Oh! And Gideon's back down. <laughs> I rolled an 18. Oh, my... No! Uh, the Come dice on. want the party dead. I don't understand. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, an arrow will shoot uh, over to try and hit Grandma. All I'll, right. I'll roll fifteen. I'll roll a fifteen. Watch this. Yep, there it is. Uh, <laughs> grandma goes down. <laughs> oh my god! Are we gonna have TPK? Oh my god! We're gonna TPK. Yeah, I don't know. I Dude, keep our party is bad. I, keep I don't know how to say this. <laughs> I keep rolling so good. There's, oh. a, there's a level of when our health is so pathetic. Yep. And any good roll can kill us. This yep. can just happen. This like, could just happen. Yep. yep. And I've rolled My AC could be as high as anything, but one, all it I, takes is one. I hit. keep rolling, fi oh, I keep rolling 15 plus. I don't know what the fuck is happening. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, let's see. Good luck, dumbass. <laughs> uh, gonna go ahead and. Oh, that's it. Yeah, he's 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 gonna go for the he's gonna go for the the hit. Uh, so he's gonna go down. Uh, this will be uh in, I think. I have to see. Is it is, is if if a creature's unconscious, is it an auto crit? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's I think two so, right? death saving throw failures. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hit, Love yeah, you, Brett. Does. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Love you, dude. Yeah, that zombie's gonna go down and start eating the door. <laughs> Oh God! All right, Veldrin. Holy fuck! Um, <laughs> oh, did he hit? Did he hit first though? Oh, I have to see if he hits. I thought it was yeah, just he... instant. Okay, I, here no, we no, go. no, they have to he hit. Might, too, I think. He might not hit, but we'll see. Not with your roll. He didn't hit. He didn't hit. He didn't hit. He didn't, hit. He didn't fucking hit. He's trying to shoot through my the chain mail. Damn chain mail. Oh, yeah. oh. nice. <gasps> Our death has been postponed by one round. Oh. I am Veldred. I am moving. Uh, Please. Trying to get into the darkness. Oh, I collide with a wall. Uh, oh, is this a wall here? Uh, let me find out. One moment, push. Uh, it is. So I'm just gonna go. Boop. Ah, oh, perfect. Yeah, now you can move. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna move up. I'm gonna take a shot at this guy. Please, <laughs> please kill him, please, please. All right. How do you dispatch of this zombie? Uh, again, running. Veldrin just seeing his companions drop, he falls to a knee and fires, sort of bolt piercing through the head. Okay. Um, and he would. Turning around, same motion as before, crossbow to the side, dagger forward. Uh, against this one here. Okay. Is I he need within, a smash of this one. <laughs> is this guy... Oh, perfect then. It would be crossbow bolt and then the dagger immediately following through. Okay. okay. That's if they die. That's if That's they die. if they die. That's if they die. Oh let's, God. let's find out. Okay. This one stays down. Come on. <laughs> Actually, no, this one. Uh, no, yeah, this, the other one. Yeah, this one. This one. Uh, if if damage is part of it, I do get sneak attack against this jump. Please, please. Okay. Please. Please. Oh my god. So it'd be uh, it'd be nine if that accounts for any DCs. Uh, okay, let me uh, re-roll the con save. Brett's like fucking begging you to save this Please. session, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> I rolled a 19. <laughs> like the uh, that's my turn, is. DM. <laughs> oh god. Okay. I'm trying my fucking best. <laughs> yeah, here we go. All right. Hmm. Let's see here. What we do? What we do? What we do? <sighs> to make a spot check. Uh, da, 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 da. Nope. He's just gonna, this, this, this one's just gonna wander around. Okay. We go again. Private, let's do. 
Oh, you went down again. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Level one, baby! Yeah. Uh, where's your second horrible scar, uh, Gideon? Uh, oh. let's see. Was I hit while I was down? Uh, no. You got back up, and then you got hit again. Well, I was I was down on the ground. I'm just trying to figure out. Oh like, yes, you uh, were hit while you were down. What was yes. like their weapon? Did they have like a weapon? Oh, they, just, they just slammed you down. They elbowed they you. Slammed me. Yep. I, <laughs> the second one would be just like a like a like a terrible just like because he's using like chain mail, but obviously it's not fucking helping. I think he has a horrible just fucking scar right along his chest, right in the middle where the guy just fucking <laughs> broke half his fucking ribs. God damn it! All right. Another dent added to the collection. <gasps> how, does, how does that wait? What? How does that work? Huh? huh? What a homie! Huh? Okay, hold up one second. I have to check something real quick. Is a uh, critical? Is it only on nat twenty, or is it on a twenty or higher? That it's you a get nat it? twenty. Okay, it's only nat twenty, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay, he he rolled a twenty three. That's why I was asking. <laughs> Oh, you're so close. Yeah. Oh, like a dirty 20? Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's why I was like, it has to be that? Okay. Oh, that's still a, uh, that's still good. Okay. Now it's Cookie's turn. Her hands, like, twitch a little bit, and she's dreaming of, like, shaking up like a margarita. Oh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, oh, you know what? Bless is, um... Oh, yeah, Bless drops. Yeah, Bless um, absolutely oh, yeah. drops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Although the glitter stays. This is important. This is absolutely <laughs> uh, important. Fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. What? Okay, we're at cookie roll now. All right, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. I okay. believe Grandma. Okay. <laughs> Good luck, Turg Bund. Great name, by the way. <laughs> it's the, it's, it's the, uh, I went onto Tolkien website, onto the dwarf language, and it means, <laughs> it means beard head. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, thank God. Uh, with the arrow stuck in it, it will turn over into the general direction of where it got hit, and then slowly. Eldrin. Uh, oh. oh, you're breaking up a little bit. Crown? How about now? Oh, you're good. You're good. Uh, uh, this is getting up in my grill. Uh, crossbow is going to be immediately sort of swept to the side and drawing from his uh, from his sheath is an elvish lang. Uh, and he's going to make a uh, sort of swing at this uh, at this gentleman here. Okay. I'm not able. There we go. Uh, that will hit. <laughs> Dude, the the DC's gonna be so low though. Yep. There's a question: Does the ox count as a <laughs> friendly creature? <laughs> I don't know, Crowd. As as a DM, how what would you consider that? <laughs> you answer I wouldn't me. I would fucking count that. I wouldn't count that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he would, as the as the laying slashes across, he would immediately drive a dagger down with his offhand into the corpse. Okay. So first, I must do a thing. Uh, he gets back up. Okay. I stab him again. Uh, that'll hit. I get back down, and I get up again. I get knocked down. This shitty little zombie, man. And I get up again. Yeah, you're just <laughs> stabbing this thing. All right. What are we looking at here, eh? Uh, yeah, the skeleton's definitely going to take notice and start and start its approach. And with that, a bow fires into the area. That misses. Oh my god. Maybe. Wait, what? Oh no, it's zero. It it put it automatically put you back up to one because it it rolled over a twenty because of the the thing. So here we go. And oh baby. Okay. Next up is Cookie. 
Roll it up, boss. I'm doing it. Okay. <laughs> how do you feel, Brett? <laughs> yeah, are you how having you, fun? How do you feel, how Brett? Do you feel? <laughs> I roll the dice as it is. How are you doing? I, <laughs> how is your home life, Brett? <laughs> Turg has stabilized. Good for him. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Understood. Uh, top of the round. Here we go. Buddy. Buddy. Okay. And with that... <laughs> the, 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 there it is. All right. I got to make some rolls real quick. Oh, you got to make some rolls. Yeah, guys, everyone. Some rolls. Hey, everyone. The DM's got to make some rolls, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm gripping onto the arms of my chair, waiting for these hot fucking rolls. Yeah, what's the results of these rolls? You got new DM. Don't be angry at me. You got to just roll the. You've been doing dice. a lot of rolling. Matter of fact, rolling pretty hot out yeah, there. Roy, so I'm really yeah, excited really for these rolls. Really rolls. Really good out there tonight, Brett. Love that for you. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Okie dokie. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I do have to make a bunch of rolls. Here we go. Okay. All right. So we got that. I got to make this roll. Okay. Wow, that was what, an hour and a half? That's amazing. <laughs> That's, so That's actually That's genuinely so amazing. Funny. Oh my Holy God. Holy fuck. I just started my hardcore Minecraft game and I died immediately. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Jesus. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Beldrin, you wake up. You're no longer unconscious. I rolled a crack 20. What? Oh shit. <laughs> Let's see how this plays out. There's a jump. Hey There's everyone, a jump. everyone, wake back up. It's time to watch the rolls. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, he... Uh, sort of having taken the arrow, falls to the ground immediately, eyes open back up. He stands up. <laughs> I'm gonna take a swing with my, uh, <laughs> with my fucking sword at this gentleman. Finish it! Finish it! is so fucking cool. Finish it, please! Finish it, please! Oh, he's dead! He's fucking dead! Uh, <laughs> Immediately, my final dagger towards this gentleman right here. Uh, we're going to oh move God. so that way it's not a disadvantage. Oh I God. running up, dagger out into the air. I'm going to fucking vomit. Okay. You're, you're rolling hot, though, as well. Yeah, oh, you're rolling you super hot. Me? Oh? Is he aware of me, perchance? Uh, now he is with the, with the dagger throw. Very well. Uh, we're gonna use uh, we're gonna use uh, the cart and everything for cover. <laughs> let's fucking do let's just do it. Uh, what kind of cover are we looking at? Half, three quarters. Uh, he would sort of like kneel down at its side, sort of wrenching the. Uh, oh, what was my wound, by the way? <laughs> oh yeah, let me roll that. I bet it's that really fun one where oh, no. I have to do a Constitution saving throw. That'd be fucking really good. <laughs> All right. Uh, you got a festering wound. It's, uh, he called oh. it. <laughs> yeah, what? wrenching the arrow free and tossing it down. Uh, he'd, uh, he'd sort of lie in wait, crossbow at the ready. That guy's so cool. What would a festering wound do again? Uh, he has to make a, uh, oh, sorry. No, this one is your hit point max was reduced by one every 24 hours. So, yeah. you're good. oh, that one. I'm oh, on yes. a timer. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Granny got a limp. Oh, a, she's uh, already had that. Poor Granny. <laughs> yeah. She's had that for 30 years. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wait. That's straight wood. There we go. Excellent. All right. Uh, so, you, uh, what, what kind of cover are we looking at? Half, um, three quarters? Oh, God. Let me, I need to double check my covers. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, 
I, I mean, how big is the cart? Could I take three quarters cover behind this? I would say so. Yeah, I think it's a covered cart. Then I would do that. Okay, understood. Oh boy. Okay. Does the soul leave the husk? <laughs> Which husk are we talking about? Mm. Oh god. Oh shit! I saw I saw myself highlighted, and I thought it was my turn. That's why. No, no, no. <laughs> you're you're all everyone. Uh, everyone stabilized. Really? Yes. Everyone. Is, everyone so, is oh, stable. Just lying here and wait. Yes, you all are. You all have stabilized and unconscious. I rolled everyone's death saving throws. All right. The skeletons are sort of like trying to get a good shot, but it's going to be difficult. But that's okay, because with the way I've been rolling, Jesus fucking Christ. All right. Here we go. Miss. I have it on private mode. All right. Uh, it doesn't matter what I rolled at this point. Uh, everyone here is stable. This goblin is also going to approach. All they need is one lucky shot. Miss. Hearing the arrows, the like striking against the cart, he'd knock or sort of draw back the crossbow, peek over and take a shot uh, at this one here. Okay. <laughs> Sweating, dude. <laughs> that is a miss. Oh, my God. oh that is a fucking miss. We Set. are, uh, we're going to move further back along the cart. Okay. Trying to keep some distance between us and still keep the cover. Okay. Daggers gone? Yeah, I'm out of daggers. <laughs> oh, no, you really? Yeah, I only had three. <laughs> yeah, One of them was yeah. my offhand to stab with, you and were, I threw that as great. a last result. Is cunning action level two? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. We don't have class features. <laughs> What are these things? <laughs> oh my god! So this it's just is who rolls the first like eighteen or higher? Yeah, this is this is Brent, literally yes. If we all die, you might as well just continue this quest as if we're just the other group of adventurers. <laughs> <laughs> it just resets every time. Yeah. Like, this is a oh fucking dream. Oh we can just come god. alongside the cart twenty minutes later. Yeah. <laughs> An identical one. I can't do that, unfortunately. Oh God! Okay. Don't Brett. This is what we signed up for. I know. I know. So All funny. of this was it's just a so bad funny. nightmare the day before we left. <laughs> 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 I got a bad I, dream. I was wow. oh. so Maybe we don't take this trail. <laughs> you cut to the Lord's Alliance. They're like, we've sent some decoys ahead first. Now you guys go. <laughs> <laughs> I had a bunch of doubles, I just did. Okay. Sorry. Up here we go. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're just, I gotta rip the bandit off. Here we go. Uh, so uh, at this point, uh, everyone stabilized. You're you're literally under the cover fire of arrows that are being fired over towards Veldrin. I'm just so terrified to roll because I know it's going going to fucking hit. <laughs> just but, fucking uh, do it already. Do God it. Damn it. Do it. Okay. Do I'm do I'm it. Doing it. Here we go. Here we Miss. Miss. Critical miss. All right. Oh, now it's Veldrin's nice. turn. I'm sorry, Again. I'm a little chicken shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it would be an action to wake up grandma, right? Oh, uh, no. Um, she's unconscious, which means it's a natural, oh, you know, wait for wow. natural healing. Or you got to oh. have some sort of healing to get, uh, to get her back up. Oh, Understood. Yep. Ooh, uh, well, I don't have anything like that. I'm and afraid. that's a minimum of <laughs> We're gonna one hour. Take a uh, sort of, again, wrenching back the uh, the bolt. We fire at, uh, at this gentleman here. Understood. Oh, Ooh. nice. How are you rolling so hot? What the Blood, fuck? Bloodied. Oh, my God. Oh, just bloody, though. Okay. Just a little bloody. Uh, that's bad RP, Brett. It's a skeleton. <laughs> Where's the it doesn't have no blood. <laughs> A little boned. Bit, he's boned. Okay. He's boned. He's boned. No, I think we're a little, little crumbly. This guy now. <laughs> <laughs> like even. Okay. So I cannot. I cannot proc sneak attack because uh, yeah. I have no homies awake. No currently. homies, bro. Um, no homies. <laughs> no homies. We're uh. You're 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 in it. You're staying put. You're you're. You you're know fighting what? To the, till you we're down. gonna lay prone. Oh shit! Oh, that Holy pro! Like oh, oh shit! Like laying flat oh, against the ground shit. behind the cart as I'm like oh, 
pulling Shit. back on the crossbow string to load okay. in another bolt. Okay. Huh. Okay. 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 He's gaming. Guys, he's <laughs> right. fucking gaming. He, uh, he has a, I have a quirk for him where he's like, I always remain calm no matter the situation. Okay, and that's exactly baby. what he's going through right okay. now. Okay. All right. We're doing two shots with the arrows. Let's do it. This will be at a disadvantage. <sighs> Miss. Oh Miss my god. One, oh my god. By fucking one. Oh. Okay. It hits Bell the drain. ground right beside him and he goes, <laughs> Ooh. All Wait, right, your dude has 19 AC. I have, he's I got have half he's cover right using, now. He's, oh, he's, he's, using cover. he's using the cover of the cart. He's knocking himself prone. He's keeping him. He's, he's strategizing. Veldrin, it's your turn. All right. I love the perspective uh, of the oxes, by the way. <laughs> They're just chewing ground <laughs> watching this. Having, having pulled back crossbow, stand up from prone, fire uh, at the oh, same one we hit before. Come on. Come on. Uh, that hits, the bones rattle down to the ground. Immediately, <laughs> fall back to the ground, pulling back on the crossbow both again. Oh Holy shit! Oh my god. All right, control click. I hate this, dude. That hits, he's down. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. It was so close. There, there it is. is. Oh, Wait, he can net 20 again. He can net 20. net 20 again. Wrap it he's up. He's the protagonist. He's the protagonist. All right. <laughs> God damn, dude. Okay, here we go. Uh, this will be public. Mitt, oh my fail. God. Net 20. Net 20, come on. Success. Mitt, oh, no. Fail. That's not <gasps> enough. Sir. Success. Success. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Dead. Yes, oh, sir. No. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I love to imagine that as he's pulling back on the crossbow string, as he's loading the bolt, he looks and immediately arrow catches him in the throat. <sighs> he was a oh fucking Nero. A fucking Nero. <laughs> uh, this gnome wizard over here goes, hey! Hey! Oh, get away! Then oh, oh. he shakes his head a little bit. Veldrin, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> who was uh, sort of tucking in uh, like one of the uh, one of the letters that he had back into his belt, sort of looking at his companions. I was wondering if it, and then here's the screaming from his side. <laughs> he tumbles off the stool, lands on his head back at the, oh, oh, they're everywhere. Oh, <laughs> sweet Jesus, they're everywhere. Oh, oh, oh. Gideon draws his weapon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all hey, uh, uh, bartender. I'm going to need a mojito for this one. This may be best you lay off the There bed. may be some kind of incredible danger in this very place with us now. I'll check on the old man. As you, as you <laughs> say that, and you like walk on over to him, he looks over at you, he sees your face, and he lightly holds his hand out to your forehead, and he says, oh, no dent. Good. I've never had a dent in my very life. Very good. <laughs> very Nor good. do I plan to. Oh. What happened to you, good sir? I do, uh, oh, I do apologize. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, good sir, I am, uh, as uh, one would describe, a, a wizard of the divination school. And, uh, well, every once in a while, when I take a little sippy sip from my drink here, he looks over to the cup that is clearly spilt over the bar from his panic, uh, now drenched into the wood area, and he's like, uh, by the gods, I'll need to order another. Uh, anyways, uh, when I've had a bit of a drinky drink, I, uh, oh, I get a little shaky. And he holds his hands out, and then he'll just, he'll stay over, and he just goes, but occasionally, visions will creep into my memory. Ah, uh, yes, of course. And you, he kind of steps a little too close, I've seen you in my dreams. You've seen me. 
Uh, yes, uh, you are accompanied by a uh, a, a, dr a drow, uh, uh, an elf of some kind, a uh, dwarf, and another gnome. And the sturdiest action I've ever seen! Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. And in this vision, I had a dent. <laughs> well, not at first, of course. You see the zombie slammed its, its, its weight upon your skull, knocking you unconscious. But you did come back. You that come never back. would have happened to me. What? That never would have happened to me. But it did. I you... would never be struck. Someone, someone insisted that you visited a city in the, in the dead of night. <laughs> Veldrin <laughs> slowly taking a drink. <laughs> so, a long I don't know. Your, he looked like a little bitch. It. He was really afraid of sun of some kind. I don't know. Why would anyone it's here? It's skin. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see any reports of undead uh, on the registrar. Did any of you? Yeah, I did. I did. I've not heard anything now. No, I've not heard anything either. We think Nor you might do have I believe had... there are any out there. Sweetie, listen, we think you might have had a little bit too much. You and had... I think I'm going to tell the bartender he needs to cut you off. No, please don't. I need you my... took a tumble, old man, and maybe bartender! perhaps you no, yourself no, have a bit of a dent on your head to even assume that I would be struck. <laughs> he pushes dented. you He pushes you away, <laughs> completely ignoring as he grows over. He's like, please... Don't take away my drinky drink. It's the last good thing I have in my life. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, wait a minute. Wait, you're you're yeah. one of those types. I see. She reaches into her pocket and pulls out a business card. It's magenta. It's covering glitter. If you ever want to fucking rage it, hit me and my sisters up. Oh, ooh. <laughs> he oh. takes it. Oh. He puts the card away. Oh, all right, then. You're in grave danger. What? No. no, no, no I We're do in no danger, old man. You simply took a tumble. After you had a little bit too much to drink, I assume. He'll sit on the stool. And he just kind of like lands there and rests gently. Uh, and he will sort of just look over to everyone and uh, say, Look, it could be of. Uh, I could have taken a tumble. It could have been one of my many divinations that I see throughout the day. Either way, I must warn you mm -hmm. the roads you travel are dangerous at night. Be wary. I and fear no danger, old man. But, but still. In fact, I propose we do exactly what this hack said we shouldn't in order to prove him wrong. Listen, listen. You, you, you choose whatever you want, but please, if if you don't mind, uh, let me touch you. Let me touch you. I would prefer oh. you don't. Do <laughs> that. No, place your hand <laughs> upon. No, place I, your, I need place, to be place your hand now. upon mine. It just doesn't have to be lascivious. I just, the, just, I just simply feel yeah, like that's unnecessary. Like just, just, just touch my hand. Yeah, we, you, yes, you, sir. He points over to the dome once again, pushing past Kitty. Oh, He's yeah, like, touch me. I, yeah, touch me. Hand up. Yes. Oh, maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe not the best. Mm. You probably don't know where he's been. Oh. See his hand just come out of the fur. <laughs> yes, very good. This will do. And he, he reaches over his hand and you'll watch as a radiant light will will sur will just kind of like uh, cover over the hand uh, of this gnome. And uh, you will feel oh. a, a gentle warmth fall over you. And he uh, yeah. okay. sighs and he says, with this blessing that I give you, I do truly believe you'll be able to control your fate a little easier. I must be off. A bear needs me somewhere. He uh, crawls under the desk and what? leaves. What? That's, what a, a, kind of, that's kind of insulting considering a, that we already have a cleric, but... What a poor sick man. That's rather unfortunate. His situation. It's a shame how society just casts them away and then they end up like this. Cast them away! No, you want to bleed them out first. What? <laughs> we'll talk about that someday, I assume. <laughs> Figure out what that means. Uh, so, <clears throat> Turg, you have received a, bless a blessing of the divination wizard. Uh, one second, let me check. Okay. 
So, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, whenever, the, although it's slightly altered. Uh, so, whenever you make a roll, uh, you are free uh, to make a re-roll if you did not like the first result. The only exception is that the new roll must exactly equal the result of the first roll for it to take place. Otherwise, it's wasted. Wait, uh... What? Can you give me an example? Yeah, yeah. So uh, if you roll, let's say, a 10, for example, the result is a 10. Uh, and you're like, I'd like to re-roll this. I don't want to use this. Uh, if you roll another 10, uh, you're good to go. You can take that result. But if you roll an 11 or a 12 or an 8, you can't take that result and you can't accept it at that point. Okay, so it is a... I can use this thousands of times if I get obscenely lucky. Uh, that that is uh, that is correct, but only if the first result if, if the second Land result the equals the first number. result. Yes. So if you get nineteen, keep on fishing for nineteens. Yeah, uh, if you get a nineteen, no, no, no. and you if can you don't get nineteen again, it goes. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you get a if you get a nineteen, uh, you can re-roll that nineteen if you'd like. But the second roll must equal a nineteen, otherwise uh, the uh, divination magic of the gnomish wizard doesn't take effect. So it doesn't do anything, right? Anyways, so what are you guys doing right now? <laughs> son of a bitch. He's a drunkard, I know it. He's just He's a drunkard. Son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch. He just gave you a bunch of shitty luck. <laughs> God damn it. I, uh, I tell you what, if we leave now, we might be able to get brunch in the morning by the time we get there. So that's my, I'm putting my card on the table for that. I mean... I, I yeah, you're a, you're a brunch fan. Down, huge brunch fan. Hey, I love that. <laughs> that old man said I'd get a dent in my head, and that's just not possible. And I refuse to accept that that's anything at all. I don't think that'll be possible. I don't think it's possible either. Hey, you gonna get that? What exactly? <laughs> I oh, all said him. All right. Ah. Uh, I mean, if we're leaving tonight, then probably for the best. Ah, uh, aside from that weird drunkard, I don't think I caught your names. Ah, yes, you can call me Gideon. Gideon Zarkowski at your service. Gideon will put his hand out to shake yours. He would shake his hand. Pleasure to meet you. Ah, uh, name's Veldrin. Pleasure to meet you too, Veldrin. <laughs> don't fucking say Falco. Uh, hi, I'm Cookie. She offers her hand. <laughs> a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Cookie. Uh, he would take her hand. Okay, when you take it, uh, she slips a magenta business card in. <laughs> uh, sort of used to that, that whole sleight of hand <laughs> trick. Once it's taken, he'd sort of uh, pull his hand back and look at it. Uh, what's it say on? Um, the, it's the business card for her party business empire. She runs with her family. They basically, ah. they, they host, like, the craziest parties you could imagine. It's like, some real high, like, top shelf shit. I know somebody who would like this, so I'll make sure to pass it on. <laughs> I am Tur. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Love that guy. Tur. Tur? Is that what I heard? Ah, uh, Tur. Tur. Hey. Oh. Hey, one. Pleasure. So I don't speak Dwarven, so I do apologize. Hey, hey, hey. You want to do any as we Dwarven? Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He'd hold out his hand. <laughs> Hell yeah. Love this guy. <laughs> hand comes out of the hair and just shakes. Hey, shake. Right. Uh, aside from that, uh, old drunkard screaming of zo zombies, was it? Zombies on the road. Did, do uh, any uh, do any of you need any coffee before we go? I could order us like, just like a round of coffee if you need any of it. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I keep smell all night. Whatever oh. he said. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love him so much. <laughs> <laughs> we can't let anything happen to him this time. <laughs> This time, <laughs> <laughs> what? Huh? Oh, jeez! Hi. Ah, my head. Oh God, my head. Oh, fuck. Did uh before we head out and with our coffee and everything like that, the Lord's yeah. Alliance 
tell mm -hmm. Veldrin of any other, aside from goblins, are there any other recorded dangers along the Tribor Trail? Uh, so, um, just to just to repeat uh, the rumors from last week, uh, you have heard a uh, telltale of a white dragon that seems to be flying up and down the Sword Coast. So that's oh, a problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and also a strange organization of cultists uh, wearing uh, strange masks who also seem to have a slight obsession with dragons. Other than that, uh, the attacks have become pretty frequent from the goblins, but no, you have heard nothing else. Mm. I don't know anything about any zombies, or at least nothing from the Lord's Alliance, but I did hear about a dragon. We could take it. With that confidence, I believe it. I mean, maybe we could be a little well, cautious. I'll tell you what, if there was any undead on that road, I'd sense them from a mile away. Really? And oh, definitely I... would have even the last time, if that were real. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking vein forms on my forehead and then relaxes for a moment. I'm like, oh. <laughs> That's strange. <laughs> yeah, that would have been really <laughs> embarrassing, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> are you um are you a cleric or, or some sort? No, I am I am a paladin. Ah right. righteous. Yes. Extremely righteous. Yeah, the end dead aren't gonna be any problem for us if we even hypothetically see one, which I personally think I'd like to put like on the record is extremely unlikely. I've never seen an undead in my life. Neither have I. They're extremely rare. They may not exist. People stay dead usually. I ain't a lot of Well, with a paladin on our side, I feel much more confident. Yes. You a DD. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my As a hey, what did he? <laughs> exactly. <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm thinking we should probably hit the road. We should probably get a move on. Yep. If we want to catch brunch, that is. Mm -hmm. Brunch would be nice. Uh, whenever you guys are uh, interested in leaving the tavern. Uh, you can walk out the front door or go upstairs to your room. Either way, you'll be leaving this freaking map. Yeah. Forever and ever. Forever. We'll you never are... see this tavern again. And you never will... coming back here. <laughs> These characters <laughs> will never see this tavern again. <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> I ah. promise looks at chat looks at everyone watching. This is the last time they are going to be in this tavern. Oh, wait, I forgot my wallet. No. A bomb lands on the tavern. You should have fucking <laughs> thought about that before you left. I left my driver's license. How are they going to be able to tell I'm legal drinking age? Oh, shit, if we get pulled out, that's going to be real bad. How am I going to enjoy brunch now? <laughs> Fuck! All right. <clears throat> ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, here we go. Just one, please. All right. So, God, God damn it! Hold on. I'll try to adjust the volume, and then Steam pops up, letting me know that Benji's playing Baldur's Gate Three. Get the fuck out of my way, Benji! <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, I'm happy for fuck him. Fuck off! I know, but it's serious business right now. Um. So, uh, fortunately, for reasons unknown, uh, you guys have already had two days worth of rations reduced uh, and not replenished, but that's okay. We'll just assume you ate them along the way as you travel down the high road. <sighs> now the question remains, do you travel during the evening or during the daytime? We said evening. <laughs> I, I, I understand. <laughs> and thus... <laughs> we begin again. <laughs> you will travel during the evening hours. Uh, so you make sure to keep uh, yourself hidden uh, from the veil of darkness. I'm just going to go ahead and just set this up to about, oh, I'm going to say about 2 in the a.m. Because that <laughs> looks, that what looks a weird time. It sounds so familiar again. <laughs> what a specific time. Yeah, that's when it, it would be when you would be traveling through there. Um, I'm going to load a map. 
Oh yeah, uh, is yeah. it going to be familiar? Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, but huh. uh, uh, we've changed the name uh, so you as know. so as to <laughs> not. I, I don't know what you guys oh, are yeah. talking don't worry about. about I'm it. starting to feel really dizzy. <laughs> My head's starting to hurt. Uh, a perfectly oh. normal day. A perfectly normal day. <laughs> I feel fucking sick. Stop. Did there's some. Mm -hmm. You did the thing. Mm -hmm. Hi, thing. we're back. We're back, and the ad buffer remains. We are back. I love, yeah, I love that it does that. Anyways, give me one second. Uh, I'm loading in my DM screen, and then we'll be good to go. I it. We'll, uh, I'll let you know some of the changes that have happened uh, with this map, smiley face. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, really I'll let you know I'm going to be tearing right through it with these oxen. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> that wasn't a fucking bluff. No, I... I you <laughs> are... <laughs> Just tear on right by it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my DM screen is reloading, and I still have a buffer of seven hours for the ad time. <laughs> Screw you, Twitch. You can't control Wait, you what can I do. You can buffer it to that long? Uh, yeah, I mean, we were online for an hour and a half watching uh, the last episode. I thought we had a max buffer time. That's sick. Not that I know of. <laughs> I have never encountered a, a max buffer. Uh, anyways, uh, so a couple of things of note, and then you can, you know... Tokyo drift your way out of here if you'd like to. Um, we do now have an actual wagon token because that sounded like that would be useful uh, for things that may have happened previously uh, from something I had a dream that I had. Uh, I needed to check one quick thing. I wish I could do rulers uh, privately. Everyone close your eyes, please. Uh, can okay. you do that for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, one, no one fucking look at me, okay? Oh, Don't look okay. at my shame. Don't look at it. All right. Uh, okay, all right, that looks good. Okay, uh, so uh, let me go ahead and, and there we go. You guys are gonna travel to just about here, and just and and just then. Oh, you can open your eyes now, by the way. Oh, okay. uh, just okay. then, uh, uh. Um, Gideon, something uh. feels wrong. Something feels wrong. As you're galloping, uh, as you're kind of like galloping over here, uh, you sense something, a great evil down I'm this path. Sensing a great evil. Oh, hey. Yeah, something smells a little weird. Something, something smells off on this road. I, I was about to ask, how does your divine sense activate? Is it through a Smell. noxious odor? Excellent. Yeah, you no, it's it, it, it's fucking stink clouds coming up <laughs> off of things. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry about that. Right. No, no, my friend, it's not you. It's coming from ahead. Okay. Oh. So you will now sense the following as you're galloping up. Uh, you may or may not see this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you will sense from our, over here. Make sure I've got the measurements just right for you. Uh, it would be like, yeah, it'd be like over here. From this location, and yeah, and yeah, we're gonna say over here as well. Uh, you can sense the presence of undead. And then from the trees, you also sense the presence of more undead. No. I'm... So. This entire road is surrounded by undead, which up until now, I was still frankly not entirely sure if they even existed at all. That was it was right then. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, there's some right over there. Wait, if that guy was right, that means... Oh No, no. that could mean anything. I'm not going to get a dent. dent. I'm not going to get a <laughs> dent. I've never been struck before. I'm incredibly good at this. <laughs> As you're galloping on. Um... Yeah, you've got a choice to make at this point. Clearly, there are dead here at the road, uh, but as you're galloping closer, uh, you are uncertain if you're aware if they are aware of your presence. But you are now clearly aware of theirs. We run the risk of them hurting the oxes. Yes, we might have to deal with them. Well, we have. We may have the drop on them right now. That, or we speed up and try to get by them and simply ignore them. But then we'd be leaving them for the next travelers. Indeed. I'd go ahead and go to the other man. 
Exactly. My thoughts. We should be sneaky That's about That's kind this. of what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cast Bless and uh, okay. Party Popper, gaudy pink magenta all over the three boys. So I am going to roll a stealth check. So before we do all of that, yep. I'm just going to roll the initiative because the, the creature's on the board. However, mm. smiley face, uh, mm. th this is a surprise round. Which means uh, oh. you all have a round to prepare. Now, if they are still unaware of you within the next round, then obviously the surprise round will continue over. You're not really sure the intent of the undead, whether they are aware of your presence or not. But because of the divine sense, you definitely have the upper hand. So because of that, this first round will be considered a surprise round. Uh, Veladrin, what would you like to do? Uh, yeah, we don't want to leave these guys for the next travelers. Uh, so we're going to, uh, with that blessing. Oh, no, we haven't gotten the blessing yet. Um, I'm going to roll a, a stealth check and I'm going to sort of start doing my thing. I'm going to try and get out of the cart, uh, as these ones have been pointed to me. Mm -hmm. And I'm, uh, I'm going to go and try and get, uh, get within range. Uh, go ahead and give me a stealth check, please. All right. Uh, now, moving while stealth. So, uh, what is usually the default rule for that? Do you know off the top of your head, uh, Round or Joe? Uh, uh, I believe stealth. I believe stealth is affected when you're doing exploration. I could be wrong. I don't believe there's a penalty for movement. Uh, America, uh, conceal yourself, sneak past the guards, sneak away without being noticed, or sneak up upon someone. Uh, yep, yeah, you are correct. Uh, as of right now, someone's saying half speed. Stealth, half movement. How does stealthy movement work? Because right now, I don't see anything. I've never. Oh, it's a. Tr okay, one second, please. Sorry. PHB. Stealth, or what's it else called? Hide as an action? Okay. So it's like a hide action that you do. Can't actually... Take the hide action on your turn. You may use your action to take the hide action. When you do so, you'll make a dexterity stealth check. If this check is successful, you gain the benefits of being unseen attacker. Uh, so yeah, you can move. And um, then you can take the hide action to try and remain hidden, essentially. Okay. Does that mean I'll re-roll that stealth then? No, uh, we'll take that first roll. Perfect. Then I'll uh, I'll go ahead and I'll move. We'll uh, we'll try to stay to the trees. I'm gonna draw my crossbow, mm -hmm. uh, and I sort of kneel down real low uh, with these guys having been pointed out to me. Yes. And that's my turn. Okay. Cookie, it's now your turn. Poof. Uh, <laughs> plus four on attack rolls and saving throws. Thank you. Excellent. Oh, you're casting a uh, bless? Yep. Uh, can you do me a favor and uh, cast it from your Oh, you're right. Yep, 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 yep. Cool. And uh, what's the range? 30 feet? It should be 30 feet. Um, wait a minute. Okay, so oh, I don't, I don't have, um, <clears throat> I don't have bless prepared for some reason. I mean, like I do, like on my, on my character sheet, but no. Oh, here we go. Boop, boop, boop. All right, they should all be prepared now. Yay! Excellent. Uh, so, uh, who? It's three targets. Who will you three be? Targets. Uh, she's gonna bless the three boys. The three boys. Ah, uh, good, good grandma. Dang, we have to save grandma. <laughs> All look fantastic. Get in Thank there. You. Thank you. <laughs> slay, dwarf, slay. <laughs> <laughs> Turk. I'm going to crawl to the back. And then I'm going to stand out here. And I'm just going to ready my action. Okay. Uh... I'll take As, the disadvantage throw. If if there is any undead that pop out within 30 feet, I'll throw at them. Otherwise, I'll okay. throw at anything um, that pops out in general. Also, uh, in IO sense, we've been pretty generous about how ready to actions are, but because this is a hardcore campaign, uh, as a friendly reminder, ready to actions, take your reaction. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
All right. Uh, I'm just gonna. <clears throat> I don't want to scroll thingy stuff. I'm gonna go five feet ahead and I'll do it here. And then <laughs> I'm down here. Okay. Uh, Gideon is going to climb down from the front. He's not a sneaky boy, so he's definitely going to be operating on the assumption that he's going to be pulling the attention once this goes down. So he's going to move forward to here because he knows there's a zombie or something over there. Okay. He's going to get in front of the oxes. Uh, Because of your divine sense, uh, I can go ahead and ping exactly where the undead are. Specifically, here, 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 and here. Okay. Then uh, I moved a diagonal here because I wasn't sure where they were yet. Is all right if I just put my guy here? That's fine. Uh, okay, so that's my full movement. I'm going to do a sneak check anyways uh, for my action. Ah, uh, the hide action? Go for it. Yep. Uh, 12. Okay. Understood. And that's me. Excellent. Veladrin. Okay. Uh, ooh, we haven't drawn aggro yet. I am going to move again. We're going to get as close as we can. And then take the, or would I take the hide action now? Or would I move and then take the hide action? After your movement, you can go ahead and take the hide action. Perfect. Then we'll do that. Okay. And uh, we're just getting in position. All right. And now the fun can begin. Hearing the sound of the oxen hoofing up, uh, yes, you'll yes, be yes. you'll begin to hear. Uh, one second. Let me make sure we're doing this. Excellent. Little night battle music for you. Hearing the sound of the oxen, I'm double checking some stats real quick. Yes, very good. You'll hear the shuffling. You'll start to hear shuffling from the uh, from the bushes up ahead. As this undead goblin will begin to find its way out, turning its head. Uh, it will appear to look past Gideon, but sees the oxen. It continues to make its way. Up oh, one second. Let me let me double check something. Oh, sorry. Two less two less movement. Dude, this dude doesn't know if he hits those oxen, they're gonna rip him to shreds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah, these are some big boys. And then you see the second a dead goblin finding its way as they sort of like begin to stumble out towards the ox. They're looking past Gideon. Cookie. Um, okay. Huh, weird. Whatever. Uh, she don't care. She's gonna uh, raise her hand and fire a sacred flame at the closest zombie. Hog. Ooh. Uh, deck save of 12. Let's... Oh, shit, you're right. I'm sorry. I forgot we're using Foundry. <laughs> no, you're, you're good. All right. You said dexterity save, correct? Yep. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just click the button. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> You'll watch as the fire just kind of like flares up do, around it. On a surprise like, round, do they have disadvantage on dexterity saving throw? We are no longer in the surprise round. Okay. And as the fire just sort of whoosh, flares up, you'll just kind of see the, uh, you'll see it just kind of like dodge around it. The zombie doesn't obviously doesn't like dodge and move around, but it seems to walk at the right steps as the, the radiant no, energy okay. surge up. No, it's okay, you say she missed. I'm just, <laughs> I'm the dungeon master, I'm telling the story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, whatever. This is my tapestry to weave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh stealing God. that. I'm stealing that. <laughs> I'm fucking stealing that. <laughs> Turg, it's your turn. Rush up, pull out one of my javelins. And I'm going to throw it straight to the closest <laughs> goblin here. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Uh, it's so cool. Uh, Ooh, massive. Oh, sorry. The uh, first one's a real roll. 
Uh, right. all good. So wait, what are we doing? Did you accidentally uh, click to you by mistake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay, I understand. Uh, yeah, so the first roll will, will be that. It'll hit. You'll watch as this javelin sort of... And it just looks down at a javelin that is now impaled right through its torso. Hey, uh, that. Veldrin, you begin to hear the rattle of bones, disturbed by the groans of the zombie. I'm uh, sure. Gideon. Gideon's going to step forward. Uh, a little bit surprised that undead are real. Uh, <laughs> but he's not going to lose a beat. He's going to walk up. Dude, what would you do if you found out the zombies were real? Like, yeah, I just never life. really thought about it that hard. He's going to take a swing with his longsword, though. It's a 19 to hit. Uh, That'll hit. Seven points of Mass. damage. The zombies now bloodied. And aware of Gideon's presence. It sort of slowly lurches his head over to Gideon. Yeah, I saw that one coming. All right. Uh, we return back uh, to the sounds that Veldrin heard. Uh, you'll you'll begin to see, uh, animated from the ground, uh, you'll begin to watch as uh, skeletons begin walking out. They are holding a bow. Mm. Uh, all right. So... Um, doing that, uh, it's going, is going to attempt to attack, uh, at the target closest, or rather the target that's visible within the fight, and that would be Gideon. So. Nat 20 me. Let's just get, do it clean, all right? All right, yeah, clean. yeah, yeah. I, do it clean. Get it over with. <laughs> I, re I really do appreciate this clip if this, this happens, by the way. Okay, that's a 12. You'll watch as the actually you describe it as the arrow goes towards you. Does it miss? Does it bounce off your bounce armor? off his really nice armor? <laughs> the way God intended. Belgian. Okay. Uh, I will say the the skeleton is still here on my screen. Uh, oh, weird. Uh, it is currently over here. Okay. Uh, that's the one I'm going to. From does is he aware of me? I would. Are you throwing? Are you committing to throwing the knife? I am shooting him from stealth. Then, give me an advantage roll, please. Understood. Big sneak, big sneak. Oh, oh! nice! And the second one was a twenty-four. Ooh. Jesus! God damn! It's coming! <laughs> it's coming around! It's coming around! Uh, how do you just spatch this skeleton? Uh, from the darkness, the like just pale eyes. The bolt fires out and it scatters the skeleton's head. Um, immediately, sort of casting the crossbow to the side, the dagger comes out uh, to this one here. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So cool, so cool. Uh, am I still hidden or? This, I would consider this uh, an advantage this round. Under, understood it. I'm assuming you're moving so swiftly that it just it, it, it the attacks are synonymous. All right. And then uh, to basically ensure that it can't, to ensure that it's going to have a really bad time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm going to move up on it to ensure that it either has to move or it's going to fire on me at disadvantage. Understood. And that is my turn. Uh, this zombie uh, will now seeing the the clash happening here uh, immediately go over to the nearest target, which will be Gideon, as he slams down. Uh, that'll hit for oh six God. points of damage. Ooh, ow! Gideon is bloody. Which doesn't help because this zombie also goes in with the slam. That will miss. Nice. The skeleton, looking as if it's about to hold off the bow, you'll kind of like scamper in and like get in his area. Uh, I'm gonna say the skeleton is in was in mid shot, about to fire at Gideon. And as you kind of came in with the uh, with the dagger, uh, you threw off his fucking groove, so he'll be attacking at disadvantage. A 15 will miss. Ooh. Cookie. Uh, da, 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 da. 25 feet. Oh, that's perfect. Did you run up behind Gideon? 
Hey, stay sharp out there. She's gonna um, <laughs> cast your wounds on him. Let's I've try. always been sharp, and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you will heal for four health. Damn, that's a bad roll. <laughs> oh wait, hold up, hold up. No. You, you wait. You huh? had, uh, you have uh, your life, correct? What oh, we, that's right. So what are, what are we adding for an additional three? I think. Gideon set backs. Gideon set backs. Yeah, two plus ones so of three. Damn. That's Huge. What, that's what we're talking about. Turk. Hey, you done to me, a bastard. I'm gonna run in there and I'm gonna bring the war pick down on the bloody one's head. Ooh, hoo, hoo, no, that? I'm not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are, my friend. As the oh, war pick goes down <laughs> his head. All right. Wait, wait. There's uh, zombies, baby. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, good, oh, good damage as well. So hopefully the DC's high. So we're going to roll the undead fortitude now. Uh, this is con save. Uh, I believe the DC is going to be damage, 17. Right? Yeah, it's a good DC to be. Oh, I can get it. Nice. It doesn't get it. You're. You, how do you just ha- pull the war pick out? <laughs> you just pull the pick back up, dude. All right, Turg. That uh, uh that was your right turn. God damn, Gideon. I shall remain undented. <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen. Yes, uh, dude. Holy <laughs> fuck! The zombie is bloody. Gideon the Undented. You have a plus seven? God damn, you're here. <laughs> we love you! I, uh... Gideon, it's so cool, dude! <laughs> it's so cool! <laughs> <laughs> Harrying the skeleton, uh, it's gonna be an attack with the Elvish Lang. <laughs> and then immediate follow-up with the dagger. How do you dispatch of this skeleton? Uh, same as the first one. It is a slam across the side of the head with the lang, and then a follow up with the pommel of the dagger, sort of crushing its skull. Fuck. <laughs> awesome. You're doing amazing over there, sweetie. We're gonna move to uh, to assist the homies. That's my turn. Oh, by the way, can you please roll that long sword again for me? Uh, uh, yeah. Because you, my friend, are flanking. I'm just seeing if you roll a crit. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I did not. Oh, are we doing flanking rules? Yes, that is part of the hardcore rule oh, set. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's big. All right. Uh, the zombie, uh, looking at the at the sword, just kind of going in, uh, will, yes, slowly turn over to uh, Gideon and try and uh, again. Go ahead. Go Tried down with the me. slam, missing. <laughs> Cookie. Arms open, try to dent me. <laughs> with arms wide open. I'm gonna try to stick with it again. Okay. Oh, okay, all right. Ooh. Well. One moment, please. Uh, how much are we looking at there? Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, it will good take the hit. Oh! Yeah. As the radiant yeah, energy sears over its body. Up. Yeah. Uh, it still stands, uh, but it is not well. Okay. <laughs> and I hit it around the back of the head. Okay. We got, you got, we got flanks. I have to right. Oh, yeah. Uh, give me another again. roll. Ooh, there it is. That's going to raise the DC. Uh, so here we go. Uh, I have to make a constitution saving throw now. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is not like over. It's just literally the damage taken. All right, it's a DC 15. Let's see how we do. How do you dispatch this zombie? Just like a mining or just straight to the back of the head. Kunk. Hey! The, za- the zombie Master. is dispatched. End of encounter. So, yeah, we are. <laughs> I, I want to point something out here. Um, <clears throat> uh, nobody got hit. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a different, well, just different roles and tactics. Oh yeah, you got hit. You got hit. I got hit. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I got get, hit hard enough that if we were still using the original, you would have went uh, down. HP, you I would have gone down. You would have went and down. And that was we snowball once someone goes down. So. <laughs> That's, it was just so amazing how the reversal of just what uh, shitty dice rolls <laughs> versus good dice rolls will do. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. All right. Well uh, done, everybody. Well done. Yeah, so uh, you all will uh, 
<clears throat> the battle is done. Uh, the stage is set. See, what did I tell you? That that old man doesn't know anything about anything. Yeah, I didn't realize the undead would be like pushovers, to be honest with you. Oh, no okay. wonder I've never seen any around before. They're probably yeah, killed by random people. Hey, hey, or like we, raccoons or something. We, we did really well. The fuck you say? Let's get a little over ahead of ourselves, right? <laughs> let's see what they have on them. And then let's make our way to Fandolin. You guys did fantastic, by the way. Well done. Hey. Yes, we all did incredible. Good work. Hey, hey, Andy. I... I have to go reapply my facial. <laughs> mm. I uh, want their bows. I want I, their loot. I uh, I love that after uh, two character deaths, <laughs> crowd is like, I'm power gaming now, baby. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I'm about to be your about. worst <laughs> fucking nightmare. <laughs> uh, you will take from these skeletons uh, two short. But are you taking all of this, by the way? Mm -hmm. Taking all of it. Two short bows, two uh, short swords. Uh, also, uh, one, uh, two arrows were shot, uh, so that will be 38 arrows also. Uh, and, because uh, I'm going to assume you're doing this all the time, Turg, you will retrieve your spear or your harpoon. My javelin. Your javelin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. I assume you will always do that. Uh, because javelins are yeah. thrown weapons, they do not follow the ammunition rule, which means you just fucking get it back after you kill an enemy. Oh, nice. I get my dagger back, too? Yeah, they're not ammunition. They're just Fog. throw Damn, weapons. That's fucking cool. Massive. Am I doing that, oh, I right, doing that wrong? In my boy. Okay, that's not that. Would you rather I have some extra I, equipment I, that we I can, can sell? I could 50 50 uh, roll to break it in half if you'd like. Up to oh, you no, guys, God, so. it's all right. I appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you. <laughs> that would have ruined the experience. Uh, I had uh, two short swords, two short bows, and about 30 something arrows. So I don't know if Fandolin is prepared to buy equipment, but we can sell something. <laughs> they you get, arrive and they go, Ew, equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck do you get that? Goes, I understand. <laughs> I'm just a wee town. This is all I've got. All right. So, um, <laughs> what are you all doing? Well, onwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As the oxen wagon trample over the corpses of the zombies. As you trample. That was a powerful. That places to be. That was a powerful. Yeah. All right. Never want to see this road again. <laughs> Now that I know that, I'm just going to go ahead and make this note here. Okay, so... <laughs> Something so raw still in the back of my mind of, I shall remain undented. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a badass. Bad bad <laughs> so fucking good. So cool. Gideon the undented. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. You all will arrive in Fandolin. Uh, it is morning past, uh, so you guys are, are definitely on the tail end. Uh, and <laughs> this is like a completely different scene. As you uh, gallantly and majestically come in with your herd of ox, uh, you'll all, yeah, you'll all gallop forth. Uh, it is currently seven in the morning. We've got doppelgangers in the tavern, by the way. <laughs> Don't look at that. Don't look at that. <laughs> Those are kind of weird divination we wizard to bullshit. Them. Those are. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it'd be too hard. Those are glitches of the Matrix. Uh... Oh, you have two hit points. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to kill you. <laughs> yeah, I can kill you. They walk out the wind. A slight gust snaps <laughs> the neck of Goki. <laughs> uh. The uh, bless, uh, of course, wears off. But yes, uh, you, the map is yours. Feel free to travel where you will. And let me know where you guys are heading next. Right. The uh, the letter said that we needed to go meet with... Uh, what was his name? Harbin Wester, the town master of Fandolin. Thank you, God, that one. <laughs> ah, yes. Well, I hey, suppose uh, we could just ask the nearest person in this small town. I'm sure they know. <laughs> 
Probably for the best. <laughs> I didn't mean to that be so there. aggressive with the wall. Like, you there! Yeah, that was me! He <laughs> like stepped right into the road. Like, you there, man who just stepped in front of our oxen cart. Slay, queen. Uh, he walks out as he looks over <laughs> as you guys gallop in. Um, here in the oxen. Uh, yes, this old man will kind of approach with a, a slightly confused expression upon their face, scratching the back of their head. And as you shout over, excuse me, old man, as you <laughs> the one who just walked in front of the cart, uh, he'll step aside uh, just to be like, oh, I apologize for that. I, uh, how can I help you? We're looking for the town master. We have a delivery here for them. Oh, I was not aware that the town master requested a delivery. But yes, uh, allow me to show you where to go. Uh, he's just going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, he'll show you guys. Uh, where to go? Um, Much as, appreciated. As he'll walk over here. You're looking for Harbin, correct? Yes. Uh, I so, feel so familiar. So, <laughs> mm. <laughs> as you're galloping down the road, mm. you know, you're spending a little bit of time, uh, the elderly man will definitely just kind of question a little bit of where you've come from and your, your, your history here. Oh. You're from out of town, aren't you? I've never seen you here before. No, this is our first time here, yes, or at least mine. Oh, well, what brings you to Fandolin? Well, uh, and immediately we are here to finish this delivery. Oh, oh so you you seem quite capable of to be simp more than simple merchants. You're decorated in fine arms, it seems. Yes, we are incredibly capable. We've in fact dispatched hordes of undead. Just stop for a second and... Oh, hordes of undead! On oh. your very roads. You should clean it up more often, I think. The We're, tribal is very dangerous. Yes, and also literally clean it up. I believe we may have crushed some of the bodies. Yeah, the there's a total Oxen mess back cards. there. So as you're saying that, he'll finally take a look at the wagon uh, to see the splattered remains of a zombie upon one of the wheels. And he'll see the, the viscera that is all around it. And he kind of startled a little bit and he'll look over at you. I wasn't aware we were, we had a, an undead threat. Hey. Yes, you, you, we, exactly, none of, how can you really know when there's an undead threat until it shows itself? But I can actually, in fact, tell you right now. Mm. I'm going to do a divine sense in this area. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I sense like, any undead? Steps back a little bit as he's watching you do this. He's in full awe. And you'll hold your hand up and as you're looking at it, sense, uh, no one dead. You will sense no one dead. This place is clean. For now, he, uh, re relief just sort of washes over this old man, and he just goes, well, that is, a you should speak to the town master, you quickly, this way, and then he steps forward. Of course. Yeah, yeah, we were already, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, well, I, he's right here, and then he'll walk up to the door, and he'll, poof, 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 poof. he's just knocking, he's just slamming on the door, you'll hear, eh? Who's out there? Uh, uh, town, town master! Boom, 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 boom. Merchants here from out of town! They said they've witnessed undead! <sighs> undead? Well, that's an impossibility as he, like, opens the door, kind of, like, looking at everyone. <sighs> Who are you? Well, I'm Gideon Zarkowski, and these three are... Say your names. <laughs> I'm Veljan. I'm a member of the Lord's Alliance, whom you called for. <gasps> the Lord's Alliance? <sighs> Are you supposed to be my marshal? Are you s Wait, you're not Sildar? No, but we did bring the supplies you requested. Oh, very good. Um, is he just looking over? Sorry, I'm, I'm looking- He gesture- <laughs> He gesture to Turg for Turg to introduce themselves. <laughs> Uh, I, um, I'm only, I don't know if 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 I'm
Oh, hi, salutations. My name's Cookie. Hey, uh, do you have any leads for where Siddhar could possibly be right now? Because I'm, like, looking for the guy. Who, who, who are you looking for again? Sil Silda? Silda, the, the missing person? The well, You were in contact with him yeah, before he disappeared? Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why I sent a letter, a blistering letter, to the Lord's Alliance. We don't have Silda. He has never been here. We're left defenseless against, um, nothing. I mean, everything's fine here. Well, he can take his time. <laughs> Incorrect. Yeah. Everything is certainly not fine. Inside yeah. roll. <laughs> <laughs> That's. I've got a smell for bullshit. Let's see it. What a great buildup. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, he <laughs> caught himself in something that he wasn't supposed to say and just sort of wound it back. And now is trying to move on from the topic. It seems like your town's surrounded by far more than just a need for a constable. You have undead along the tribal trail, and you also seem like you have something else on your mind. Ugh. Undead! Yes, undead. First One the of them still on the cart. First the go oh, he looks over at the viscera. <laughs> <laughs> First the goblins. Now one dead. What a Fandolin won't stay will won't stand tall at this rate. Uh, why did I have to be elected townmaster? And he sweats a little bit as he looks over at Veldrin. He starts wagging his hand. He's wagging his finger at Veldrin. And it's just like, uh. oh, oh, I see what this is about. For the last time, there isn't a red brand problem here in Fandolin. We're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dungeon Master. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're rolling inside check again. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, that smells like bullshit. Yeah. You didn't even need the roll. Like, oh. it's just, it's, it's light as <laughs> okay. easy as he's breathing. Yeah. Have we clearly, heard of the red brands? Has... Uh, no, you have not. Uh, but clearly he, okay. he's looking at he whatever this red brand issue is. Um, he is definitely trying to undersell to the best of his ability. Right. No red brand problem. Are those my goods? If you have our coin. <sighs> I shouldn't even have to pay. Yes, in. What? What? What, in. what? What do you mean? <laughs> what Good you heard him. Good <laughs> sir. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't believe here. he stuttered. Hey, he had a knee. I did. Uh, also, by the way, uh, you I totally forgot to mention, uh, you guys were given a receipt uh, that was requested to be stamped upon uh, by the town master to ensure the safe delivery of goods. Indeed. I pull out my beard and I hand it across the... <laughs> Fuck yeah, you will! <laughs> 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 Give me that. What, what even is... He'll grab it. <laughs> he looks at it. Then he looks up and he says, You're... You're from the Lord's Alliance directly? I am a member of an eye. Uh, if well, I, um, <clears throat> he coughs a little as he goes over, and he says, what I meant to say was that if it, it that this wasn't what we had agreed upon. Uh, the first goods were lost in transit, uh, so I should be given a, a lesser price, but uh, for the Lord's Alliance, uh, we'll make sure that your, uh, uh, your people are taken care of. Got to make sure that we're uh, still friendly at all. Uh, yeah, that's what we thought. Thanks. Uh, so as he he'll seal the uh, he'll seal the receipt. Uh, he'll walk up directly and hand it to Veldrin, uh, who he believes is the like the the leader, like the sergeant here that was from the Lord's Alliance directly. Uh, and then he will hold up uh, a satchel of gold, and he says. 
I believe, um, he'll look over at Elmar and says, Ted, right? And Elmer's like, I don't know. And <laughs> he's like shrugging a yeah. little bit like. You are a and, 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 and Harbin nods and it's just like, yes, uh, 10 gold uh, per individual. Very good. And uh, here's some for you. And here's some for you. And here's some for you and you. Uh, and T will hear him. out like candy. Yeah. Uh, one gold piece at a time, by the way. He's very meticulous. <laughs> oh. He's doing one, two, three, four. And so after a solid, I'm going to say, five minutes of him counting out the gold to each and every one of you, uh, you all will receive ten gold pieces. Veldrin is going to split his coin, and he's going to give uh, two gold of his ten to each party member. So he'll only be getting four. Uh, uh, I cannot accept it. I'm sorry. Do you all like being broke? Is that what this is? <laughs> I would rather my companions are more able to afford their goods. Okay, I Um, Gideon, will you be accepting the the gold? Gideon will not be accepting it. Ooh. Cookie will accept it, but he looks at, at he looks at him like he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um and uh so Veldrin uh do you take the gold back? Uh seeing that Gideon doesn't want it, he would still give the two to Turg and Cook it. Of course. And then you'll keep the other two, correct? Yeah. Okay. So I should get Yep, I've uh, I have updated everyone's gold. Hey. <laughs> Perfect. Slaps, cr slaps crown's hands. I'll take care of that. Don't worry about it. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> no, you're good. You're <laughs> I good. Help myself. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta, I just gotta get in there. Um, so, uh, uh Parbin kind of just, he kind of like waddles up to his door with his big old beer belly, and he says, "So has business concluded? Are you here to help us out?" Looking over at Veldrin. We're here to help you out. If you have any leads about, you said goblins as well. Yes. Yeah, and the Silda situation. Yes, I'm trying to find the... Silda. In the in the the main, the main. Like I said before, uh, we haven't seen Sildar. He's never checked in here. We've been without a marshal. As far I'm sorry. As far as what has happened so far. <sighs> Up and down the Trubor Trail, goblins uh, seem to be causing a muck. I can only assume one of their hideouts is somewhere out there. And now all of the goblins are zombies. That's a completely unrelated problem that is about to become very relatable. If what you said is true about the zombies, then we are truly in cursed times. I haven't oh, even yes. told you about the dragon yet. Oh, we know about the dragon, and we would be able to dispatch it handily. The dragon's none of my business. I'm gonna be honest with you, Gideon. I'm willing to make it all of my business. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes, <laughs> over there. Indeed. <laughs> uh, one sec, I have to check a, a quick note specifically about the dragons. Or sp the dragon, not the dragons. Uh, because he's point at uh, he'll uh, immediately be like pointing over at a bounty sign. So let me see here. Nope, not this one. <laughs> uh, okay. Gotta go through all this shit. All right, here we go. Okay. So yes, there will be a bounty uh, over in Fandolin. That's kind of like pointing over at this. Uh, and let me see here real quick. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Anyways, yeah, so he's going to point over. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just say, like, what is there? Um, 
there will be a bounty there for 100 gold pieces for the slay of a white dragon by the name of Cryoban. And he's just kind of like pointing over and just like, Yes, we need someone to take care of this. Consider it taken care of. If you're able to, to kill it right over here, we'll be very thankful. I Like I said, consider it taken care of. Oh, I understand. Usually it takes more of a selling pitch. No, uh, I'm already sold. Uh, understood. <laughs> and see if you can't find Sildar and stop the goblins and the undead. And as he's like, he's I will solve off. every problem you've ever had. As he closes the door. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go ahead and take a small bathroom break. Cause I have to look up some stuff just very quickly. And then we shall continue afterwards. Correct. He wasn't expecting us to survive. Yeah, I, I, I have nothing prepared. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, yeah, that sounds good. Chat, as yeah. I said before, I'm just going to say 100 now and give the actual price later. Everyone's like, 100 gold pieces for a dragon. I'm like, yeah, I, I told you. I just, I need to look it up. Um, so you'll look back over at the um, the bounty, uh, the poster. And it says, uh, Cryovane, uh, bounty 100 gold pieces or your best offer. So there you go. It's uh, We're going to leave that up in the My open. best offer is free. I would do it for free. <laughs> um. So, uh, <clears throat> so yes. Uh, um, what Barthen, will... Was it? Yeah, so um, he'll look at the door. Or, yeah, Elmer Barthen. He's just kind of... Uh, 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 yes, yes, it is. Oh, good sir. Uh, over at Barthen's Provisions. Oh, you have a store. <laughs> he nods. Perfect. I'm in need of one. Oh, uh, w well, it depends. What are you looking to sell? Some of the equipment from the zombies. <sighs> are they weapons or, or armor? Weapons. Uh, I'm afraid I can't take that. Uh, instead, you're going to want to go... <laughs> and he's like looking around and then he points over at the blue house over here. Uh, you're gonna wanna speak with Lenine Greywind. Uh, she owns the Lion Shield Coaster. Uh, she'll happily take your wares. God, I hope when I'm old, I constantly make oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I move. Uh, He's in pain. His body <laughs> is literally shaking around oh. as he's walking. So yeah, he's in pain as he's looking around. <laughs> Your, your provisions, I imagine, they're just normal supplies then. Oh, that is correct. And don't ask about potions of healing. I had no intention Why? for it. I don't have them. He says, oh. as he like, Understood. as he like slowly angles over to you while he's shaking, looking at you. Thank you for guiding us here, by the way. Oh. Now I have to go back with the oxen. Is there anything that you had at the back of this cart? No, I believe we're actually fully capable of carrying our gear. Yes, we're actually of normal strength. We can simply carry our things. Why are you looking at the bush in the corner as you're like looking directly at the camera? <laughs> <laughs> now I have a normal carry weight. All right, so... One moment, please. Checking your storage. Yeah, this doesn't seem right. Actually, are these all the stuff that you kept on? Wait, what? Oh, that's right. These are all that. Damn, the storage is tainted. All right, give me a second. This, I... That's that's the old session storage. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's it's it, it's. Uh, I was like, we can use that, but I forgot. Like, you took like the corpse. <laughs> And all the stuff of Ve of uh, of Veldrin. So oh, fucker, yeah, yeah. Oh, so I, yeah. I so I have to. I'm just yeah. gently removing some stuff. Uh, that should be good. I'm thinking. Oh, actually, no, it's not. One second. Four. I'm just seeing timelines merging. We walk by. <laughs> yeah, and I refuse. A bunch of Veldrin stuff inside the car. <laughs> wearing it. I I look it's back. I can blood. see my corpse behind the shrine <laughs> for a so moment. Weird, bloated. I Veldrin. find my nose <laughs> on the ground. I can't believe. God, this is turned into like the scariest thing. You feel the dent in your head. It's a scratching <laughs> sound. <laughs> 
And then the music starts playing again, all nice and innocent. <laughs> Super cheerful. <laughs> Welcome to Family, my friends. Does anyone feel an an immense feeling of dread if they oh. stay quiet and they don't think for too long. <laughs> when it gets real quiet, I, I, everything sort of goes dark. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, the reason why I'm opening this, um, you do have some stuff in your storage uh, that we'll have to figure out where you want. Uh, one of that includes a hunting trap, which is 25 pounds. Uh, so, so um, unless you would like to store this at the end like we did before. So it's up to you. Would you, you want to do in storage for now? I've got a bunch of carry weight. I could carry something. Okay. A uh, trap's uh, pretty useful. We yeah, a trap, yeah, a trap problem. is good. I can't carry the trap, I think. If someone wants to carry the 25 pound trap. I can oh. carry the trap. Hell yes. Very good. He lifts it with ease. I'll yeah. carry that. Damn, he's so cool. Oh, imagine not being <laughs> able to carry things. <laughs> Flashback to Gorgonzola. I'm going to put this healer kit down. It's way too heavy. <laughs> God, he really is the poor older brother. Holy yeah. fuck. God, I fucking miss him. <laughs> Oh my god, when Gorgonzola charged in to save, uh, to try and save Tommy, was he god like- Goddamn tear to my eye. Did you, was it like, were you thinking what would Gideon do? Was that, was that what Gorgonzola was thinking? <laughs> I, I think it might have been a mix of that. I think, yeah, there was, I, I don't know, that was a 50-50. There was also a chance Gorgonzola just stumbled right out of there and never talked about Tommy ever again and lived, uh, Tell the really? You wouldn't oh, yeah. even talk about him ever again. No, That's he would so never talk sad. about any of you ever again. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> it was <laughs> he would have never what talked about any of you. What a fucking rat, dude! It would have been, been too sad. Like, been on the next car out of here. <laughs> Homie, homie got accused for murder one day, leaves town, <laughs> witnesses the death of so many people, and <laughs> runs away to tell the tale. Oh my god! Absolutely. Okay. Um, so, uh, you're going to take the hunting trap, is that correct? Oh, there it is, already in your inventory, perfect. And the rest of it is literally, uh, next heaviest thing is, uh, hemp and rope. Big old rope. That's apparently, uh, uh, I've got, no, I, I, can, I, can, I can carry it. I can bit. carry it. Yeah? Yeah, I'll bring, I'll bring the rope, for sure. Okay. Uh, I'm going to delete these crossbow bolts. All right, ropes there. You're good to go there. Delete. Uh, you guys currently have uh, 11 half rations. So that's going to be 11 pounds. Um, I'll take two. I can yeah. carry, uh, like, we, I mean, we could all probably just split it into twos, right? Or like, Yeah, cut. okay, two. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do two there. I'm going to do... Oh, my God. It's so much easier with the, the tiny sheets. Two there. Cookie's going to take two, correct? Oh, I'll carry whatever's left over. Actually, uh, yeah, I think so. I don't. I, I I'm still kind of confused about encumbrance because I still have like the little ticks at the places that they oh, were. Oh yeah, I can't. I can't. Rules. I can't control that. So you're oh. good. You're, you're not okay, gonna. Okay. Okay. All right. It's just cool. if it's 50. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. 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 That makes yeah, it the, easier. Yeah. Those were uh, those were marks before, so we just don't use those. And I also put in if you ever question it. If you go in your mm. features, I put an ability possibility says uh, when encumbered. It tells you exactly the number you have to be to reach that encumbrance uh state mm. uh okay uh we've got a, ch a chest set i don't know if anyone yeah, wanted that's that. mine i just threw it in there it's garbage all right i'll put it back there thieves oh you could sell that <laughs> probably but you could, you could make some cash off that um a nope i think you, no water skin five oil flasks yeah, I just, I took the oil, I accidentally Ooh. took it twice, so... Oh, no, just, you're good. I'll fix it. Let me just change it to five. I'll take some oil flask. Oh, you did, no, actually, you did buy... I uh, bought, like, three, but there were already two in there. Oh, got you, so you're, you should be five, the correct? Two, the two would have been from Veldrin's old corpse, because gotcha. I also oh. bought oil flasks. Then we're, okay. we're, we're good to go there. Uh, and then finally, a belaying pin. I don't know what the fuck that is. A uh, club for the uh, from a pirate, so it would actually have once upon a time belong to um, <laughs> belong to Gideon. Cross Ugh. again. Yes. Ugh. All right. I can have that on me. Okay. And then I think that's my bedroll. Yep. And then the rest of it is everyone's got a bedroll. Just double checking. Yep. 
Uh, the only one that doesn't have a bedroll would be Turg, and I'll hand that to him now. Yes, please. And then that's I mean, it. Kind of got like a built-in. Uh, I am a bedroll. Yeah, situation. I'm one of your guys' bedrolls. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, if you guys have your inventory back, you don't have to worry about storage. Would you look at that? Wow. Wow. Would it, wow. Would it behoove us to go ahead and get a room first before we? Yeah, I was thinking. Let's just idea. take a take a rest, catch up on sleep, debt, and then maybe take care of the goblins like later this afternoon. That sounds good. <laughs> All right. He's fucking badass. I have to see in town anyway. So. I have someone I need to ask around town. As well I have someone something. I need to ask to try to get some breakfast for us. So we're all just going to kind of split up and do our own thing. Yeah, that, that sounds, sounds good. good. <laughs> nice. We're all very I, capable people. I believe it. <laughs> very nice. That is super exciting. All right. So, Whatever causes the most stress to God. <laughs> Great. Let's fucking go. All right. I'm going to do this then. <clears throat> just fuck it. Just fuck it. What? Oh. Uh, Veldrin, so what are you uh, doing? Uh, I believe the ultimate goal is to end up back at the, uh, oh God, what did they call it? Uh, at Stonehill Inn, well, eventually. Mm -hmm. uh, Veldrin has two tasks. He's going to go to meet uh, Miss Greywind okay. at uh, the Lion Shield Coster. Hello. To sell, uh, Hello. To sell some equipment, if possible. Hello, yes. Ah, that's me. I'm Miss Greywind. <laughs> A pleasure. I have, uh, I have need of your, your coin and store. Okay, well, come on inside. And you'll come into this, like, this slow <laughs> makeshift area. Oh, you're very handsome. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Yes. Say, are you have, uh, a capable? She just interrupts you. Are you a capable <laughs> type? Uh, some would say so, yes. I assume you're in need of Capable help. of murder? Badass. Depends uh, on who. No one in town, dearie. Just of, like, little goblins. Yes, we do intend my Oh, companions good. I have a question for you, then. Let's hear it. While you were on your travels slaying goblins, did you ever discover a, a, a thing of cargo? I believe it's been taken by those awful goblins. We didn't find anything along the road, no. Well, shit. Well, we did just deliver some supplies to your town master. Oh, yes? Oh, good. It's probably a bunch of jerky and mining picks. Uh, we, the town needs more than that. What is it in need of? Weapons, dear! Lots of them! The Red Brads are out there causing mischief and we need to defend ourselves. Your town master said that the red brands were to need. Our town master's a prick, and you shouldn't listen to him. I'm glad my intuition was right. I have weapons for you. Oh, good. Is it a cargo supply? Afraid not. It's only about four. We'll still take it, dear. All right. And so if you... you're in need of weapons, uh, when we go kill goblins, I'll bring them all back for you. I would appreciate that. If you're going to kill goblins... And you managed to find my cargo. If you could be a deer and bring it back, I will happily reward you 50 gold pieces. That's very generous of you. I'll make sure to note it. Are there any marks or uh, any signs on this crate or equipment? Yes! <laughs> she just walks past you after screaming in your face. All right. Stop <laughs> here. <laughs> Damn, there, there are a whole lot in this person. <laughs> Do you um, see that? Swinging in the wind. And it's the, it's the side. shop sign. Yeah, you'll see the crest. My boxes will have that crest. 
Understood. If you mind. bring back that cargo box, and she slowly <laughs> turns over to you, I will pay you 50 gold pieces. Understood. Because we're looking to make a small army. I assume to fight the red brands. To fight the red brands. Yes, very good, dear. Thank you. So of course. Come back in here. <laughs> the entire time, no judgment from Veldrin at all. He's very, like, sympathetic to the old woman. I hate the red brands. I imagine they've been a nuisance. They've been a nuisance. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you see uh, the shop? If not, I will do a diss. Uh, I can when you did that. All right, there you go. Mm, perfect. Uh, uh, I'm going to sell some stuff, yeah? Uh, okay, so yes. give me... Uh, yes. Uh, so, uh, for that, I will need you to request purchase uh, for, for and for selling, make an offer, and I'll see it uh, pop up in the box when you do that, and then I'll approve the Perfect. sales and that's how that'll work there oh my gosh she's buying them for some dirt cheap jesus <laughs> she's <laughs> we need that for the world oh, christ <laughs> this is like a uh, fourth of the value don't worry about it what what uh <laughs> <laughs> no, sell an item let me see what it looks like uh sell a short sword she's trying to buy it for five gold <laughs> all right give me a second let me uh is this inherently trying to rip you off? Let's find out. Short, uh, short swords, I believe, are 10 gold? Yes, so she is selling it to you at half value, which is oh, what she would offer. Half value. Yes, perfect. Okay, I'm fine with that, then. That'll be five gold for a gently used sword. Thank you so much. I have. I just wanted to test this out. I do have more to sell you. Oh, absolutely. I've accepted the offer, so you'll have to accept it as well. And then it'll oh. it'll trade everything there. I'm going to sell you two bows. Yep, go ahead and drop it in. Uh, can I just stack multiple things to this trade? Or? Uh, you should, and it should give you the offer of, of two of them. Yes. Actually gave me the total, 24. Yep. Hot. This is dope. I love this. Very good. Are you keeping mm -hmm. the other short sword? Or did you? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell that as well. Oh, okay, I was very confused. <laughs> I have a lot to sell you. It won't <laughs> let me do it in bulk, so... Well, that's fine, dear. We gotta be careful with this. Oh, arrows for your. For your These uh, swords arrows. over. Oh, she tosses you just some copper as you're like handing it over to the bar. I appreciate it. Oh. Uh, These. I am gonna buy stuff from her. Yes. These swords suck. <laughs> she says as she's looking at the weapon. But we'll I'll take sure it. To I'll be sure to make, or I'll be sure rather to grab as many more weapons for you as I can to make up for it. All right. So go ahead and, and make your purchases while you're doing that. I'll keep an eye on it and we'll go over to Gideon. Gideon, what are you doing? Gideon is going to be following this old man back to his shop to make sure he doesn't kill over and die. First and foremost. Uh, thank you for, for showing me the way, young man. Yes, of course, of course. It would be my pleasure, good sir. I can tell that you've got so many wise years under your belt. <laughs> You're a gentle and kind man. Thank you so yes. much, sir. Yes, of course. Why don't you tell me about yourself? You mentioned that you were some kind of traitor or protector or ward of some kind. Well, yes, I was. I am a paladin, a defender of oh. the light. I... I've traveled here on urgent business, good sir, and I did not want to bring it up in front of my party lest I worry them greatly. I have an important question to ask you. Ask Have it. you seen a deeply, disturbingly sweaty rock gnome about my size coming uh, to these parts? That is awfully specific. Um, <laughs> actually, now that you mention it, there was... A very damp, perspiring gnome that was here oh, just over a ten day ago. I see. Was he traveling with anyone? 
Yes, he was. He looked very haunted. I wasn't certain if it was because something weighed heavily on him or the tiefling that was constantly antagonizing him. No, no. This is very bad, good sir. This is very bad. You see, that is my brother. And my brother is currently wanted for murder. Oh, no. I'm yes, so he sorry. Likely caved an old man's head in with a rock. A oh. man of the church, no oh. less. Oh, and he, like, holds his head as if he's feeling a rock hit him. You see, my brother, despite him having a good heart, is wildly, wildly susceptible to peer pressure and being talked into just about anything on a whim. And, well, if someone were by his shoulder telling him to murder, he would murder without a second thought. The tiefling! I'd keep him away from those things, but it seems while I was away from home, he's snapped like a twig. I've oh. come to put him back on the right path. Well, then you're going to want to get him away from the tiefling. Well, that, that, that individual kept bullying your poor brother. I see. But I didn't think he was capable of murder. He was afraid of his own shadow. He's capable of anything he puts his mind to. He just has no idea of his own value. He has no concept of self-worth of any kind. It's uh, a damn shame. I'm gonna do a wisdom check for Elmer. Ooh, Elmer! Oh, you know, now that I think about it, he's scratching his chin, I overheard a very interesting conversation over at the, the Shrine of Luck. Your brother was there. They were talking about how... <gasps> yes, I remember now. He was... <gasps> he was denying it. Good sir, your brother is a goblin killer. A goblin slayer, if it were. He's... He's slain goblins. <laughs> His entire group was bragging about it. He kept trying to pass it off to the kid. I believe his name was Tobby, saying that, no, he killed all those goblins, and I thought that was preposterous, and so did his friends. As they all turned to him, the boy included, and said, Gorgonzola killed those goblins. Oh, he's a mighty slayer, that Gorgonzola. If it were anyone other than my brother, I'd be proud, but my brother hates fighting. He would never do it unless someone talked him into it, or he was forced to. He's what? a gentle soul. But could so? I will ensure to it that he is held accountable for what he's done, and I will bring him back safely to Neverwinter. Thank you for all the information you've given me. Do you know where they went after they were here? They said they were going back to the hideout. I don't know what it's meant but they left off to the north. I see. You've been a great help to me, good sir. Here, for your trouble. And uh, Gideon will give him uh, three silver. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Very generous. If you ever need anything, Barthen's your man. Of course, of course. Thank you again. And he'll just start walking off over to the provisions. Cookie. Uh, hi. Uh, I'm gonna go to the inn and I'm gonna book two rooms. One for the boys, one for Cookie. Alright. So you're gonna, like, just walk in. Uh, as, as you're walking in, uh, you'll see there's a bit of a breakfast rush right now. I'm gonna say it's about an hour that's passed. Uh, Hell yes! And you'll watch as, uh, <laughs> as you open the door, uh, this, this portly man with a smile on his, a warm smile on his face will look up over to you. And he'll be like, he'll be like, yeah, can I help you? Are you here for brunch? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm here for brunch. Are you kidding? Uh, of course. 
We still got the bacon on. It's okay, though. We're going to be starting in an hour. Yes. Fuck yes. <laughs> uh, also, can I get two rooms, please, for yeah, uh, just the night? Yeah, you got it. Uh, sorry. I believe that is going to be... How many rooms do you want? The, the, the two? Okay. That'll be five silver a room. So a yep. total of a gold piece. Yep, that's fine. Okay, bring it over here. Yeah, do you have sausage patties? No sausage patties today, so sorry. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Nobody okay, likes them, dear. Him... Okay, so now he's becoming that. All right, just want to make sure I understand where his arc is going. Jenkins. There it is. <laughs> yeah, I'll give him, yeah, I'll give him a gold piece. Yeah. All right, the rooms. That's all I'm going to be doing. Yeah, thank you kindly. Now come on back down for some mimosas. We're doing mimosas. It's like it's like 8 a.m. <laughs> Not where I'm from, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> now this is my kind of city. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Turk, what are you doing? Uh, the only thing I want to do is buy one healer's kit. Okay. Uh, for that, I believe. Uh, how much are the healer's kits? Ten gold, I right? Didn't in, no. I want my check. Uh, you will go over to, one moment, please, to Barthen's Provisions. Only five gold. Okay, then he should be selling them. Buy all the of them. Theoretically. Buy all of them and give everybody one. Yeah, I could buy a few. Uh, let me think. If he has, yeah, it, I could buy one. If he has Does the inventory requires, for it. I only has one. He only has one. I'll buy one. Yeah. All Does the... it also require a skill to use? Uh, medicine check, or I believe. Yeah, wisdom medicine check. Yeah, understood. Yeah. Uh, yes, except uh, there we go. Uh, all the inventory is randomly generated, so uh, it just happens that he only had one. <laughs> yeah, you only had one. Yep. I go in there and pick up the last one. Hey, I'll find you this one. Uh, uh, thank you kindly. Yeah, hey, hey, all you did. Bye bye. Waves off to you. Hey. <laughs> and then I got to have brunch. All right. With all the business concluded, uh, the party will gather back once again. <clears throat> so, okay. uh, are you guys uh, all meeting over at uh, over at the uh, Stonehill Inn? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then yeah, let me know what you guys are doing. I'll be over at a table eating some eating some brunch. Yeah, I'm gonna suggest a long rest. Hey, you you a spell and all that. Where did you go in the morning? Are we wanting to head out in the middle of the night again? <laughs> a smile wow. creeps over his face. Yeah. Really, realistically, it'll be more like mid afternoon. Yeah, we can wait Is that okay? Problem. Is that okay? I know you have really delicate skin. Is that gonna be okay with you? Would you like some of my sunscreen? It's more like my eyes are very delicate. I, I do appreciate your concern. Uh, um, okay, all right. I don't mind if we head out during the day. I just have a preference as well. So, so. Yeah, wait, wait, yeah. where do you want to go? Well, we gotta. What, what's the situation? We gotta go take care of the goblins for yes, us. Yes, the for goblins. Them? We need there to take care of the goblins. No way, uh, leave. Uh, but when it gets dark, and then when they get light, it'll be dark. Yeah, I think that's the idea. Getting there when it's dark. I think I understood hey. that. Oh, hey, there hey. we go. <laughs> I also have another quest for us. A job, rather. It'll pay about 50 gold. Hey. Uh, should we find a crate or weapons of any sort that have the lion shield symbol on them? The, uh, the shop mistress will pay 50 gold for their return. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Yeah, we could take a look around. Yeah, take a little peek. Like hey. Okay. Do we, do we have any leads on where these goblins are? Um, well, if they've been looting the cots and taking the supplies, maybe we can set ourselves up like some kinds of baits? Interesting choice. We'll just, I don't know, just go up and down the roads a little bit until we see one of the little buggers, and then we, like, gank him. Take him in for hey. questioning. 
I know the puppet world. What would that be? I have already heard that before. But they, they didn't come out at night. <laughs> Try yes. really hard. <laughs> yes. Indeed. I think you said, do they come out at night? I, I, I did. Uh... <laughs> uh do we know if goblins are nocturnal creatures? Oh, great question. Uh, let's go ahead and give me a uh, nature check. Ooh, or history nature. check. Nature or history. Ooh, both are a flat zero roll. Oof. Uh, yeah, you can't really recall too much of uh, when goblin if goblins are nocturnal or not. Maybe. Mm. Uh, are any of you good at tracking, like, animals? No. Oh. Absolutely right. not. Shit. <laughs> but if we ever need to track undead, <laughs> call upon me. Wait. Now, wait. Hang on a minute. Those were undead goblins, right? Yes. You think box. something, like, happened to them? Yes. They Maybe. became dead at some point. <laughs> I, you, yeah, sure. At some point, they became dead, but like I don't know, maybe there's some dead, undead goblins or living goblins around their hideouts. Maybe something happened to them. Hmm. It's possible. Hmm. It's a very worrying situation. If something's going around raising the dead, then we need to be mindful. Oh, I try not to worry. Oh, that's All the right. spirit. <laughs> no worrying, then. <laughs> Don't worry about anything. Everything's under control. Hey, not my dad used to say. Don't break, get out of it. <laughs> Eloquently put. <laughs> Your dad was a smart man. <laughs> There's a lot to be said about dwarven wisdom, so <laughs> I agree. I'm, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm going to go take a long rest, folks. I un understood. Uh, will everyone else be doing that? Yeah. Yes, please. All right. Take a little nappy. As Cookie if goes the out. The healer wants to take a long rest. We the healer a takes rest. a long rest. As Cookie walks up the stairs, uh, you'll heal. <laughs> Uh, see, uh, Toblin stand, uh, like, right behind her as she's, like, ascending up, not realizing, looking over at the three of you, and says, All right, hey, you guys enjoyed the brunch? It's been delightful, thank you. All it's right. lovely. Three silver, please. I got it. Each. I just recently got some coin. <laughs> Your response, damn. <laughs> uh, yeah, Gideon's thinking yeah. how he gave his, his straight <laughs> three silver hat to someone else. I would pay uh, the. I'd pay a gold and two silver pieces. I, I wouldn't do exactly that in real life. <laughs> in a restaurant, just had a race come out. This is your bill? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you forget this time. <laughs> All right, thank you kindly, dear. You can go back up. We'll be having stew tonight. Uh, question, question, if you'd be as kind. Yeah. A little closer, if it's all right. Okay. <laughs> it's like spitting in your face. What can you tell me about these, uh, these red brand? Ah, fuck them. I mean, yes, that seems to be the consensus. They're the worst. Mm -hmm. Also the consensus. Mm hmm. They give you any bother. All the time. Well, not anymore. Now they're over at Gristus. Good. Stay there. Yes. What's Gristus? Ah, well. <clears throat> Grista is a patron over at the Sleeping Giant. They like to hang out there now. And good. Fuck them. Take them. They're the worst. And if we were to avoid this place, this Sleeping Giant, where would it be? Uh, well, it's right down the road. It's going to point over to the east. Few buildings down. You'll hear a bunch of screaming. That's just them being I'm fucking idiots. Understood. 
Okay. Hey, keep it between us, okay? Of yeah, course. Never. Hey. What? What are you doing listening to my cap? Hey, don't worry about it. All right. It goes back <laughs> to the kitchen. He's so loud. I feel like everyone could hear him. <laughs> Not a lot of subtlety, but it's all right. So, resting so that way Cookie can get energy back. All right. Yes. Behold, I grant you all long rest. I'm sure there's someone else here that uses spell slots. No. Fuck! <laughs> it's just me. That's, it's that's, okay. This it's is okay. humiliating. We, we're all just looking at you like you're some ancient old person. This is so who needs embarrassing. This or your bones are gonna fucking crumble into dust. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is eight hours of pass. Currently four twenty-three. Must be so difficult to be so old and ailing. <laughs> it's said that when you get into your twilight years, the, the sort of perception of time becomes a little skewed. I oh, hope dear. I never get old. Truly. Uh, oh, dear. Uh, well, I'm in my 30s now. Hey. Hey. He's gonna I just passed you. my century. Ah. Hey. Fuck, I don't know how halfling age works. <laughs> I think it's Oh, you're like, a halfling? I, no, you're yeah. gnome. Oh, I sorry, gnome. Years old. I, I don't know how gnomes work either. You're, you're probably like hundreds upon hundreds of years old. Wait, really? Yeah, I think gnomes Damn, live, all right. don't they live like 600 or something like that? Dude. Dude, the the second yeah, everyone's like, hey, what's your yeah, age oh, in your fantasy like <laughs> race that you play? Yeah. Where like everything has to be. And you like, better answer right. Like, I don't know. Uh, everything three, I'm 30, I guess. <laughs> 350 to almost 500 years is your lifespan. Jesus. Oh yeah, well she's up there for sure. Mm-hmm. 499 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look a day past 200. <laughs> All right. All right. Are we uh, going to get on a roll? I wonder. I wonder how old Turg was. Hey, I am about, uh, I am about uh, 98. 98. 98? No, 93. 93. Hey. Hey, <laughs> You look very spry. Hey. <laughs> yeah. You guys are learning. <laughs> Love that guy. <laughs> I'd like to buy just a few more things from the old man before we make our way north. Take your time. All right. Uh, okay, so let me go and give you the shabang. Oh, I have it open. Oh, god damn. Okay. <laughs> Did you already... I didn't close it. Actually, oh. I just said that out of courtesy. Please don't take your time. <laughs> I'll be very quick. I just have to buy a few things. <laughs> Thank you. All right, what you buy? Now that I can carry more. Uh, if it's if it'll let me, I'm gonna buy. Uh, we're gonna buy three more oil flasks. Okay. Uh, and then we're gonna buy. Uh, where is it? I just had it, and now it's gone. Never mind, it's not here anymore. Yeah. Uh, that's all I'll buy. All right. Thanks, and have a good one. Much appreciated. Also, it didn't put it in my inventory, so. You don't need it. <laughs> you, you took my money. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Sucks Actually, to be you. Didn't, you. you didn't even take my money. You, <laughs> you just gave what? it to me for free. <laughs> all right, give me that. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to be you. Sucks to, oh, shit. <laughs> Coming asshole all of a sudden. <laughs> What's wrong with me? All right, we've, we're done. We're good. I've adjusted Robert. your gold there, and I've adjusted the oil flask. 